Test. 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 Yes. Fucking hell. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, let's check the settings there. I don't know why this happens like every second stream. It makes zero sense. But okay. It's fine now. I guess. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Uh, yeah, good evening, Fuzzy, Simon, Marshall, Aaron, Galabur, Lively, and everyone else as well. <laughs> you know that it happens sometimes so with, the, with the audio. So. Yeah, usually I, I do notice quite, uh, quite quickly, I guess, right? So, yeah. But things were still telling on a chat so that I, uh, I otherwise I wouldn't really see it I mean I can see it I have some sound meter here which is to the side there but I don't always pay attention to that because also the music is showing right next to it so it isn't always obvious all right so I don't know what to play yet I've just seen that there's Badger on shop as well. I don't know, are some of you interested in that? Maybe playing some Badger and other tanks. I could certainly do so. Maybe also going to platoon, pl pl platoon later still, I don't know. Mm hmm. Okay. Are people still training? API is playing, uh, playing against some Leicester team. Okay. Play Mike also on APA. Just as Bobby Fisher. API is going to get stronger, actually. I think. Who do we have here? It's not a beloved team. But I do recognize a couple of names there. Hmm. Okay. What do you want to see, guys? I'm very open to tank requests today. Up to the point where I feel like there's just too many slow tanks. <laughs> so, what do you want to see? I will stay. I will try E6 for the start. Also, I decided that it is a good day for a beer. Cheers. M48, okay. Okay. Fine with me. I took the OP position right here. Can immediately pressure the Leo. <laughs> what the hell? What is the LD doing there? All right. Uh, let's punish her even more than that. Just get a shoot down the mediums a little bit, and then it will be easy for us, I guess. What is Yark doing? Maybe I should help my teammates a little bit of. Possible. It is not. Oh. Oh, crap.
I feel like my teammates are kind of gone. Like, honestly, where are they? <laughs> okay, I will die, so I'm just trying a last shot into the Leo. Yeah. Double E100 camping in the city. Nice platoon. They are definitely helpful here. To be honest, I just did not really pay attention to them. I did not notice that they were gone. It was looking so nice for me, like everyone moving left and then I thought, was I wrong about this? Did they... It felt like at the start everyone was going left. I think I was just blind. Yeah, yeah, the E100 platoon already went right there. <laughs> Look at the minimap right now. E100 platoon just staying there, staying there, staying there for the entirety of the game. All they needed to do was push in. So M48. E54. Wait, T54.1 E1 maybe? So the tier 9 auto loader. I rode an Akraf. Akraf. We're only having one medium against us. Let's see if we can maybe kill him there. Might very well be possible. I think I will already get more aggressive. No other one. No one else was spotted coming over to this side. Oh, nice. I shot three times, I believe. Maybe four. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, no. Fine. Nice. So we get a few campers to the front there now. Hmm. Let's just stick to IP. Higher shell velocity makes it easier to penetrate him. Team rolling here. We're only two minutes into the game. And it is already one. Okay. <laughs> that was quick. Very, very quick. Hi, Ominous and Yanis. Jake as well. And Dia. And Paul, of course. So you want to see the tier 9 E1. And he says dark shit, but, there, but honestly, it could be so much worse. Yeah, it's not like the teams would be good in the old matchmaking, they are actually worse. But it is a reason for me to enjoy it. Better than these tryhards against me, while my teammates are not really good either. Wasn't it upgraded to PBR? Or quite recently? Another one? Yes. Not a bad start. 900 damage being dealt already. And... 
Am I staying? Am I flanking? Ah. Oh, really? He spotted me? And the enemy heavies have not been spotted. I might be running into them. Okay, 100 is there. But I'm a one shot now. Yeah, the middle is never a good spot to be in. Looks like we're losing the corner, and if we lose the corner, then we basically lose the game. Oh, nice. Come on. Mm. Come on. Really? I can get behind him. Hoping that the SU will not kill me as I'm peeking. Oh fuck. No! Oh my. Oh my goodness. That was close. I still don't see us winning this one. Oh, what the SU actually moved over there. We don't really have hit points or anything. No hit points nor any good tanks available. Two tier 9s against three tier 10s. And I'm also too slow to circle here, I think. Well, if I had gun depression, at least. But look at this, this is awful. Okay. Last shot, please. Fine with this. Ah, it's not a good time to be honest. It, it is fine just doing something. I like the accuracy, but otherwise it's just meh, nah. Too slow and too little armor to do anything really. Like you, you either need armor or you need mobility. Not having any of that and just having accuracy is just not enough to make up for a good tank. It's enough for an average tank, maybe, if you're having DPM. Oh, yeah. It, it can be decent, yes. But the better you are, the more you need either armor or mobility. Otherwise, it's just horrible. You cannot win against any tank in a 1v1 with this tank. Unless if they are horribly misplaying. So what do you want to see? BZ? I would also rather stick to tier 10 if that's okay for you. <clears throat> Leo, yeah. Oh, 
Also, may you please just attack me whenever you want to have a tank requested. Or when you are requesting a tank, please just attack me. Just at N90. And I will see the message being marked on the chat. It makes things a little bit easier for me. Just so it's highlighted. I can shoot the V. No. Oh. Hmm. Let's help my teammates over here, I would say. I want to actually get over there. Three hundred seventeen, but I want to move away from this position. Otherwise, I will get shot from behind sooner or later. The M60 is going to come there. Oh, so FE45 being there. Ah. <laughs> this is freaking troll armor. Oh, this one penetrates, okay. Yeah, it would actually make more sense to kill the whole re, but you know what? My teammates should be capable of dealing with him. shot so I can go for him without dying. <laughs> for real. That's actually nice that the TVP still died, so I'm still having time for another shot. Maybe, hopefully. No. Oh, okay. Hi, Martin. Good evening. And Gonzalini as well. And who else is here? Whoever else here. Good evening, everyone. Just checking right now if I do have. Any other camos on this one? I do have this one, yeah. No, I did not get it in ratings. I was actually getting some ratings mission. <laughs> it's also good, right? You need to grind the ratings in order to get this camo, but then Rogering puts out a mission so everyone can have it. Independent of their efforts, basically. Just tons of games were needed also in ratings. So, yeah, very far away from the gun mark stuff. 
Macchiato, good evening. 130mm is a much safer choice, but a BZ75 is... Uh, but the 152 is really fun. Yeah, I also played most of my games with a big gun, to be honest. But it's just really bad, honestly. <laughs> I love it, but it's too inaccurate. The DPM is too horrible. You don't have any penetration against well-armored tanks. It basically only works if you're shooting hash only. But otherwise, it's just bad. So the Leo has been requested earlier. Uh, yeah, I would be happy to play the E6 for you. <laughs> Devil Street. Yes, Fizzy, you're right. I'm not used to strong beer. Unfortunately, I cannot get any Belgian beer here. I was really trying to get to different markets and the only thing I can get here is a Leffe Blonde and Leffe Brown. Honestly, I, I'm not a fan of Leffe. It's like the only Belgian beer I don't like. <laughs> or at least it's just... Hmm. The Leffe Blonde is too sweet for my taste. And the other one... Nah. I mean, not totally unexpected. <laughs> there was something still, but I kind of wanted to decap. Ah, uh, well. I failed capping, I you don't. Mm. Okay, I will have to camp. Or flank at least. <laughs> this stupid FE405 tank. It's even too high for hover, uh, for covering behind this wall there. It's crazy. Okay, I definitely need a shot onto the bad shit, otherwise I'm going to die here. Uh, nice. So my flanking option does not work. Running the left side probably aren't neither. Oh, we have an AFK, I did not even notice yet. So we're down three tanks, I'm low on hit points, and we have an AFK. And I bounced this freaking shot there. Okay. And he high rolls me. Yeah. Great game. <laughs> 268 V4 was also requested there. No oh, Carrefour. Man, Carrefour does not exist in Germany. <laughs> We have only German supermarkets and yeah, in, in supermarkets you cannot get any beer here anyways, like you can, but it's just cheap beer that you don't want. Oh, unless you like to drink out of cans or plastic bottles, yeah. But in the, like, the, the only English term I know for that is liquor store, like beverage store. And that's the only one where you can get some beer specialties, but we have all kinds of beer specialties from everywhere in Germany. Um, Czechoslovakia as well, some beers from over there and other stuff, but Belgian beers? No. Nice try. I can wriggle a little bit, but I must not wriggle too much, because then he can penetrate the sides of my tank. Review. 
and also helpful to just stay like this so he can oh wait okay now he oh, it was over picking to stay in a way that he can only see the outer side of my <laughs> of my uh tank here yeah? like not the inner part that is angled no oh, that's an easy penetration and that angle then okay i don't know what the sheridan is doing but i I think I would not be able to really chase him, so let's try just killing him. We're going forwards then. Hey Martin. Go, 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 go. Yes. <laughs> no damage. Beer is fine and liquor is quicker. I don't drink to get drunk in 99% of the cases. Nah, no, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I was drinking to get drunk when I was a teenager like, more often, but even then I was just not, not a person who liked drinking just anything to get drunk. I'm rather having a good beer and um, yeah. Mostly I just drink one, two beers anyways. So I, I prefer some quality over quantity. <laughs> oh, now I'm playing this tank again. I wanted to play Leo. T100, okay. And yeah, T95 U6 was first. Hi Andy. Yeah, of course, I, I would need a sample pack. <laughs> that would be really nice. I've even asked the uh, asked at the beverage store if they would be able to get some some Belgian beer. But actually, they said that, that they can only order what the supplier has, and they don't have any Belgian beer. So. Therefore, it is really hardly possible. I've not found a store for that yet. Well, it's actually more grey than expected. I would hope that my teammates were also moving because I don't. Okay, that's already already helpful. Nah. The TDs will be able to penetrate me fairly easily. At least the Yak. The others not so much. Well, FD4 or 5 is, but he's a one shot, so I don't expect him to peek. Nice. I'm depending on the RNG too much. Okay, let's not show my side to him. Yeah, he was definitely going to penetrate me with AP. Any wargaming event coming up where I take part? What do you mean by by event? Like, I mean, we're constantly having these little events where I have some giveaways and stuff. But or, or do you mean offline events? Or other what kind of other events? <laughs> So one game of Leo, then one game of E6, and two 100 LT. Okay, I'm the only medium here. 
it will not work out to fight on the hill for my own, so... Okay, let's go down. I'm not the greatest fan of it. I don't see us really having any advantage down there. Especially since we're having more TDs and not more heavies. But okay, it's Minotaro, E4, CC. Might be possible to play more aggressively. What the hell, they have Centurion coming down here as well? Yeah, let's not repair actually. I'm not at risk. Interesting. So I assume that they will still have some more people going up. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Nice gorilla also moved forward, is not camping, so I can just kill him easily. Side from the SU. Oh. 90% gunman at that tank. Maybe I can still tag him out. Nice. A shot over there. Oh. Bro, what the hell? What? There was definitely a flying outside of the reticle. <laughs> Easy circling. <laughs> okay, I do work out. Do I ever play lower rank games? You mean lower lower tier uh, games? Sometimes I do, but honestly not too much. Simply because it's just rather... The lower tiers are just depending more on RNG. And tanks are very similar mostly. But you have worse teams, worse opponents. And yeah, you have... Things that are less accurate, less reliable, that I don't like. Oh, there are still many people who are actually on higher level as well who do love farming win rate on lower tiers as well, but I, I'm like, man, I'm not going for the easy mode. <laughs> I don't want that stuff. <laughs> also on lower tiers, you're, like you're always having the issue that on lower tiers it depends a lot more on what of tank you're playing like there are a lot of op premium tanks which hopefully changes a little bit since wargaming is now transforming many to collectors so they are more free and just rebalancing the whole tier uh, otherwise you, you can only play a very limited amount of tanks if you want to win for sure otherwise yeah you're always at a disadvantage you might be low tier even and i hate being low tier I hate being at such a disadvantage from the start on Ominous, it's not a zero in the end. <laughs> it's an O. <laughs> but okay, CS63 is noted. O like ominous. <laughs> Nino, not N90. <laughs> Notschlachtung. <laughs> okay, what was the next one? T95 E6, then we've had T100 LT. And CS63. Uh, uh. <laughs> hmm. Three TDs on the side of the enemies here. And they are having a lot of armor. 
will be interesting to see what they are going to do. If they are playing aggressively, I might have some really bad time. And it is happening. Well, at least... They are playing for middle and heavy side. And these being aggressive. So I cannot play against them frontally. That I know, but at the same time I also do know that I don't have any campus to fear on the right side, or just not too many campus on the right side, so I might have more of an option of fighting for the right here. Not sure about that yet. What about my backup? Yeah, just checking my map, my TDs are just all in spawn. They cannot support me if I get more aggressive, they can only support me if I get pushed onto, like yeah, this area they can shoot. Just to risk it. Why is he camping like that? That's weird. <laughs> like, what the hell is he doing? I thought he was just moving. Ah. He was not going to push. If he pushes me, then I might actually struggle a little bit. Nah. I mean, I don't have any backup here. No help at all, but enemies don't know about this and they are not playing too well. Let's do some weird move. Going to avoid those tanks over there, like the Chieftain and E4. Trying to hide from the standard B still. Nice. That was, yeah, a weird game, honestly. <laughs> Very uncommon gameplay here. <laughs> it was a big risk for me to push on the right side without any backup, but it worked out quite well. As I could see the enemies not being good players, I could have fought for this move. I could have fought risking this. Uh, Privet Camille, yeah, English would be a lot better. I can translate with a bot here. Govoriti pu angliski bujalste. Ah, how are you? It was okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I hope you're fine as well. How are you? Just a relaxed session. I was just actually not going to stream today. But I felt like still playing a little bit. So I was like, okay, come on. I can just stream the games as well then. <laughs> Labadania Atras. <laughs> Forty five percent of streaming. I'm not a great fan of going for the corner, as you may know, but I think I can go for it on this game. Since we do have a medium tank advantage, and... Well, it's one T-22 on the other side. Let's just get more aggressive already. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. That's a lot over there. Oh, man, Karo. What? What the hell? He's just yellowing in. And I... Okay, let's elevate my tank a little bit. <sighs> I'm crying. 
<laughs> crying on the inside. Oh man, zero shots being fired. And I'm freaking dying there. Ah, really? Okay. <laughs> that has not happened in a long time to me. So, CS63. Man. Big step off beyond that. No mediums have been spotted. They might be all in the city. So I will just play aggressively immediately. One of the few maps where this is actually possible, but I still have to be careful here. About people who are either AFK or just getting into the game too late. Also often there are campers like here in the road. But the GTs are spotted in the park area already, yet there is a TVP. Ouch. But it's always a risk that autoloaders, TTEs or mediums try to or often camp here in this area where the TVP is. And if you're getting too aggressive here, well, you might really not enjoy your time. Especially because you're not going to have much of time in a battle then. <laughs> hey. Wait, are they looking at me? Yep. Now let's wait a little bit. My team might need to do something. Okay, I'm dead. Never mind. I still had a good guy. Paul, have a good night. Okay, uh, I will go for another LT game. Last one was probably lost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with the amount of games, I barely lost anything. Just three average damage. <laughs> hey, 17 bomb. <laughs> Ah, oh, 183, okay, okay. <laughs> Megal, Me no, Maggie, Maggie, good evening. <laughs> Hola. I'm still unspotted. I'm still having some tanks in spawn and the others are... I don't know, man. Do I run? If 
don't think he was shot yet. Nice. Am I in trouble, maybe? Just maybe? Okay, nice. But what my team is doing? Absolutely nothing. I will run right now. Oh, I think I should be safe to run still before the RV is reloaded. Good job, 113. Oh, the other heavies are not even in the fight yet. Look at the VK right now. Look at the minimap. What the hell is that VK doing? Maybe I can support my teammates in the corner a little bit. game right basically lost from the start on No. Uh, ah, man. Like, what the fuck? What on earth, man? <laughs> and I get down for it. By the enemy. Wait, drug shot? Oh, the VK72 down voting me. And. Who else? Enemy RV215B. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Like, what the hell? I'm getting downvoted by the enemies after they are having an easy time winning because my team is so bad. Somebody understand this crap. I will try again. I think I might try finding a platoon mate after this game. Because it really feels like we're just having Saturday night teams here. So I might need some support for that. Let's see. So good. Looks like enemies are all on A. We can cut off the E5 here, it seems. Let's see if there's some campus here. Nope. Nice. Okay, let's peek out for a safe shot. <laughs> so much about that.
But hey, the e5 cannot do anything. If he comes at me, I will kill him. Otherwise, I just farm the others. Alright. My fort is going to die. This guy seems to be alone here. Slightly risky. The enemies are actually turning back already. Gotta focus the batshit first. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, let's take him out. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's a lot. The play style I love on this tank. You can do such YOLO moves here. Just running around the enemies and having a good time. I still hit all the shots without zooming or uh, aiming in for too long. Nice. This is what I mean when a good player loves reliability. And this tank is just insanely reliable. Barely ever the RNG is destroying your games here. You just know when you mess up, then, well, yeah, of course you die. It doesn't have a ton of armor, but still, you, do, you just have such a nice time with it. Oh, it was actually an ace. Low one, though. Let's go to see if they're still in training. No, no trainings anymore. So maybe I can find a platoon mate then. Oh, that was trick. Perfect. <laughs> of course, Emery is going for the bad shit. He's like uh, the bad shit spammer. <laughs> Hey Thomas, I'm usually not playing with with the with random people. Sorry, even if you're a viewer, I don't think there is any pleasure for the others to see that done because it's just not a lot of teamwork. Given that if I play with any player here, so either I play solo and try my best farming damage, or I platoon with someone who has some good experience, can do some nice teamwork then. Pretty sure that he's still there? No, actually not. And to hit the bad shit. Oh, I don't know what to do. They still have two heavies, you're probably flanking around. Pushing in here is unlikely to really work out. Ah. Could not see through the boxes. No! Okay. I can kill the bad shit. Hey, mate, what are you doing? Track, please. Run, 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 run. Maybe I need to run. Oh my gosh, lucky me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's hide. <laughs> Double VK90 to my front. But we won that flank at least, so that's pretty good. Hey, 
Ah, il va bon. I'm kind of still getting some damage, but I don't feel like I'm too effective on this guy. <laughs> I mean, I don't do too much for the win, to be honest. Okay, let's already go for T-47, or is he dead? No. Okay, I don't know how I still got 4k. It felt like I was horribly ineffective just standing around and just hiding and not being able to shoot. But it somehow worked out. <laughs> Actually, top damage, but it did not feel like it. <laughs> like I was winning the game. <laughs> it was just my team pushing on the right side, to be honest, and I could farm off of that. I was too afraid of pushing on the right side on my own, but I knew we would have to win the right side. We had all our teammates on the right, while enemies had some heavies unspotted, we were sure to flank on the other side. So we could use that information for just pushing the right side. And Elmery also, as experienced as he is, immediately went for this option. I gave up trying to understand stupid that they made the boss was final. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, playing Blitz then is not really. I mean, it can. And then you're going to face a lot of stupid as well. <laughs> can be disappointing in that sense. <laughs> But at least most people are not causing any drama after the game, right? <laughs> okay, they're all coming. Let's not peek again. And they will actually also not stay here. Won't be possible for me to hold them. Oh, there's a Leo that I could shoot. No. Come on. I cannot shoot him. For real. Oh! Oh! Someone was not enjoying this. I did not even get spotted. Okay, there was a bush to the front. As I don't get spotted, let's actually stay right here and keep him spotted. I mean, enemies don't know that I'm here. And I can just back off then. For shooting. Oh no. Okay, that was to be expect to be expected, so cannot kill that E100. I cannot really push the I7. There's still a 183 in the corner as well. How about actually killing KPZ and Batshit? No, I cannot do so on my own. But 
Also Vika ist low now. And he probably just turned. Nah. <laughs> he actually stopped, okay. Uh, I guess I will have one last shot, so that's it then. Ah, uh, <laughs> I tried, but uh, yeah. Pushing right side didn't really feel like an option. With a full IS-7 covered by the 183. It was sold to someone else still. Hmm. Let's see. I'm cool, okay. Too cool for voice chat. <laughs> Brain cell and ratings mode? Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean, ratings mode for me is just Flying for the win and not farming. And going for kills, not damage. Although it only applies to the to it depends on the game. As long as you're winning the game, you can just do whatever. You don't need to do anything really. You will get your points. If you're losing, then you have to go for damage because it's the only way to still get some points. Ah, uh, I hate the gun elevation on this tank. But actually, I'll just go in there. Get rid of this dude. Fury Defender. I think the E6 is also a bit too aggressive for him. I mean, he's not going to be safe like this. I don't want to block the T62. Nor do I really... Dude. Stop peeking when you are not even reloaded. That's so annoying. Way too many people do this. Now we have to peek so far because I cannot shoot behind him. Let's go right then. Ah. Minus one, minus two. I might still have a shot, but I think he's reloading right now. But anyways, I cannot push him. Gotta apply for distance then. Oh good. He's going to push in like this. Okay, let's see if I can crossfire a little bit more. Maybe Kranwagen's in the open or Eskong. Uh, no. Nope. 
Good. Uh, hopefully I'll still get off some shirts before dying. I mean, they can kill me easily, but let's see what my teammates are doing. I would expect my teammates to just get the kills before I arrive. No. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Much better than I thought. <laughs> NL or NL. Ready for me is getting top one on the board to get points every time. <laughs> well, if you're in, able to invest all the time, then yeah, then, then that's definitely a nice goal. But I feel like if you if you're not going for top ten or top one, and then there is not really any point in getting a high ranking. It's not like win rate. If you're playing for high win rate, then it really every game matters. Every game means you have to try hard to get your best results. Same as for damage. But for ratings, you can do whatever as long as you play enough of games and to make up for some bad game again. Like it's not really the average. Even if I play a bad game at 6k ratings, it mostly means that I'm not even getting punished too badly for that. Like if I'm just saying bad for my personal level. Because at even 6k ratings where I, I was playing 350 games in last season or in the current season to get to 6.1k ratings. And even at that point the teams are still fairly average, just slightly above the average level. And others at 6k ratings are also mostly just 60% players, not 70% plus. So if I play like a 60% then it's enough for me to hold 6k ratings. I don't need to try hard for that. Although try harding gets me to a higher level or higher rating quite easily. It's more about the battle count there. And that's what I dislike about the ratings. It is just it is just rewarding effort and not skill. So going for high rating just means to play a lot on a good level. But not really not really getting any reward for tryharding more, but it's just as long as you're not playing enough. Okay, we can just uh, go for those guys here, I would say. He's on a long. Oh, he just has a small gun, so he's not even. Maybe I can ammo wreck him. Okay, nice. Small gun on the M60 was ki kind of nasty to me because he has a much faster reload than me then. Okay, no. That is not going to work out. I can still out trade him or maybe not because I mess up. But hey, bouncy bad shit. What do we have there? 268. Sherry then ran to the other side. I can maybe help my teammate from over here. Yeah, yeah. Gap is a little bit too small to aim in properly. Oh, Sherry then? No. Okay, and reload time. <laughs> Don't agree near that. Yeah, I know some people love ratings. Of course, you just are also limited on the ratings by your skill. If you are beneath 60%, you cannot get above 6k ratings. So it kind of still reflects the skill level, yeah, to some degree. 
because you constantly need to apply above average to get some higher rating and if you are getting to a higher rating then it also gets to be trickier because it's similar like skill based matchmaking it's based on the team average of the rating and there will be more players of a higher level than if you're getting to a higher rating so i was mostly having like it was very similar the win right to to the skill based matchmaking actually just 47 to 70 to 70 percent a few of the players beneath 47 48 percent but at, uh, at the same time well wait let, let me just think about this uh a rating play of six rating was mostly from what I've seen between 60-65% win rate so oh let's shoot the fetal tank oh perfect another fire maybe Streetswagen is very easy to set on fire So if I'm at a rating of 6k, then I will also have more players who are just above average against me. Nice high roll. It's the same punishment system, basically. <laughs> With the team average, you always have, like, if you are on a higher rating, you will have multiple people of just slightly higher rating against you. Ooh. Okay, they're all turning back. Well, in that case, I will just reload and move somewhere else. Roll we'll move to their back again. With a bad shit, I always want to shoot the enemies from behind. Well, this will be a risky move, but I think it's... It might be worth it to just take him out here. Otherwise, he's causing some trouble still. And I can probably move out on time. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Thanks to the visa for not just standing there. <laughs> not blocking me. I might have to help my teammate. have to go for the reload here I believe. Not going to get off an entire clip anymore. Let's go for the ram. On! Fire. never play ratings with not for the extra rewards that's also that's also what i played for at the start i back then i, I went for the ratings camo that's because the ratings camos they do look great honestly and some of the nicest camos out there and you can get them for free just by playing but for that i only need to do the calibration and maybe i don't know 40 games or so then and then i have the 5k Ratings. Well, I need 50 battles in total just to have enough games there to get a tank, uh, to get the uh, to get the camo on a tank. I'm not going to play T92 or Lord here <laughs> in general anymore. <laughs> why, are every, why is everyone asking for T92? I mean, not everyone, but multiple times it has been the case already. When the tank just gets nerfed and nerfed and nerfed, it's kind of irrelevant at this point. But at this point of the stream, we're also more into the win right stream category, as I was just asking there. No tank requests anymore. Bounce. Interestingly, I didn't spot anything here. So enemies will be all on the other side and all over there, but they are still going to be very campy. Otherwise, I would have also spotted them being a bit more aggressive.
I'm just going to flank around here, getting into the enemy spawn, trying to spot something there. Maybe they still have some campers. I hope they don't have anyone in that bush over there. Krishna. <laughs> mm. I want some crossfire. I didn't get spotted yet. I'm kind of ineffective. But I can get in some nice crossfire now. Only problem is that enemies will turn back here. Let's try taking out the Sheridan. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Run! Uh, okay, let's duck down here. They're all enemies on me right now. I will just run away, run towards the other side then. Now I know that they are all going in over here. I can probably just re-push the other side. I guess they will still be chasing me. And the Yo will be reloading right now, so I will just take him out. I mean, I know that he got spotted, so he was peeking earlier. Let's just tie here, get unspotted first, and then I run away. Nice. I think I'll just go in and kill him. Great. Worth it. Let's hope the RV doesn't get me. Good. Hi, Cope. Hi, Detonator. How's the match marking? Oh, actually, it's, it was not sufficient to play solo and farm damage. So after a couple of really bad games, I just decided to go for platoon. Yeah, show it in T92E1. They're still kind of easy to play, to be honest, both of them. Because they have high alpha damage done and you just can out trade everyone basically. So they are like the easiest light tanks you could possibly go for, for sure. But again, they are not reliable. So if you are getting to a higher level, then, then Sheridan T92 are just having too bad of a DPM. The accuracy is too bad and you are not going to be able to get the maximum win rate in them. So to some degree it's possible, but especially in Platoon, I wouldn't go for it. Because I want my teammate to be able to trust on my skill or my my abilities to help him in any situation. With a Sheridan, that's not given. You need more passive gameplay. You need to have time to really do some stuff. And it's just yeah, not possible in Platoon where the games are lasting shorter anyways. 
Okay, I will take one shot anyway, so I can just put out two, hopefully. And get back into cover then. It was unexpected to have him be there that quickly, but it's a bit at 113, who is just pretty fast, so... Yeah, I could make use of that. And just, as long as I didn't shit my pants, <laughs> it was also going to end up in a nice trade then still. Losing 400 hit points for putting out 700 or so is still pretty good. But enemies will be more on the other side, so I can just get behind them over here. Have some nice crossfire. Another one, please. Come on. Oh, close. My platoon might mess up. He's going to die. <laughs> He's still trying to run away, but yeah. Oh, nice. That shit was one shot. P3 over there, the other... Uh, cannot really push that guy. I would love it if I could get the kill of the bad shit. Let's not waste my shot here. <laughs> okay. Oh. Close. Although it looks like we are still winning anyways. Even if I took the shot. I was just definitely not sure how well it was looking on the other side. Nah. All I need to do is aim my shots well now. I hope it doesn't have reticle calibration. Uh, not reticle calibration. Reactive armor. I know many people who would just rush the shot in the end and just fail, maybe still lose the game there. <laughs> I've seen that way too many times already. So important to just keep the cool there, keep calm, carry on. <laughs> just hit that shot. And it's a win. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Detonator. Yeah, guys, uh, if you're if you just watching right now and enjoying the content in some way, at least, um, please don't forget to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing and joining the Discord server. Definitely always a great option. Uh, we're still having some giveaways running at this moment. Uh, And giveaways are 
on the video, on the YouTube video that is that was released only shortly ago. There is one giveaway for gold, 5000 gold in total, and there's also another giveaway for a T95 E6 or AMX 30B, depends on what you are preferring there. I would recommend the E6 to be honest. Uh, let's quickly check. They are having three heavy tanks. Chief Tyne is alone on the D-cap. Oh, come on. For real. Yeah, this is a horrible trade now. <gasps> Fuck! Not good. I can run at least. Unfortunately, it's not looking good over here as well. I don't know how it turns out to be one of those games where you are just losing every side possible. Ah, oh, and I'm low rolling. And I'm dead. Well, about the giveaways, we are having three giveaways right now. Stop, three giveaways. One, first giveaway, 5,000 gold on the video, on the last video. Not the short video, the other one. Uh, then there is the T95 E6 slash IMX 30B on Discord, on the announcements channel. And the third giveaway is for members of the uh, yeah, of the Kofa page for uh, like premium membership. Among all these members, still until until midnight, so still 40 minutes, there is a chance for getting a battle pass when going for the premium membership there. Not a lot of time anymore. And actually, so far on the new Dono page, there are only two members so far. So chances are pretty good so getting something even for a low amount. Hm. I was unsport, that's for sure. Problem is we are actually at a disadvantage over there. And then we suffer medium more than us. So I would rather fight for the other side now. But hey, I'm spotted, so let's quickly get unspotted here and cover. So much about that. Apparently I cannot count. Uh there's a gorilla over there then. Still actually on the hill. Kind of surprised by that. It seemed like a shot was coming from elsewhere. I don't have any shots left now. I'm not staying in a bush here because now I will remain unspotted. And enemies are likely to blind shoot the bush. So I'm not careful about that. Ah, oh, come on. Nice. Other ones camping? <laughs> I 
looking good for me. Nice. <laughs> would have just reloaded behind the rock because of low rolls. Yeah, of course, that would have also been an option. Sure. I was thinking about that to be honest. So play safe now, go for the reload again. I mean, I might also just fail even if I perfectly aim in. There's still a couple of percentage points of a risk of failing the shot. Hey, Timo. <laughs> rating spammer. I'm not in ratings right now. Quickly need a short toilet break, just one minute, and then we will get to hear Emery as well. Much your first time playing with voice chat. So, one second, I will be right back. some connection issues it's fairly low on the bit right but it's still there just about half of what I'm usually sending out internet hello Good evening. <coughs> yes, good morning. <laughs> that sounded yeah, like you were burping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yes, kind of like trying to make my voice like I have 
been talking for a while. So it's just like uh Fair enough. Starting up yeah, it's warming up like the <laughs> old engine. Yeah, okay. Yes. I spot. Oh good. Thanks. I, I see many to... tanks. Well, me, me as well, I will just go left spot. I don't know, I always play left yeah. spot nowadays. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's just like uh, I, I go with whatever uh, direction my tank points to. So. <laughs> <laughs> They're and kind of like everything. Yeah. It's everything that side. So far, four tanks, TD missing. Both mediums, there are just a couple of heavies missing from there. I think they'd be like even further back. Just nothing else is getting. Man, I've, I've just shot one so far and bounced. Nice. Yeah. That's a good start. Right. We can maybe kill the Batchet. We have oh, a really? Leo. We have a Leo coming on. The TD is not turning. TD is going for C. They're just trying to kill our corner now. Um, TP is coming this yeah. way. Uh, and TP shot. Do you want to go for the corner or? T T57. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's just tracking. Okay. Nice. Ah, it's fairly easy here. Mm -hmm. That's that's uh Yeah okay TB is behind you, nice. Have fun with them. Yep. I will. <laughs> as long as I don't bounce the side now. That would be very not not fun. Okay. Maybe a max roll. Maybe a uh, maybe a below turret. Bang! Oh, I'm still getting more shots off. Unexpected. Mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> nope. Ah. <laughs> Unlucky. So how have you been doing in skill-based matchmaking? Ah, uh, yes. I had a 25-day break. <laughs> Did you even try it? Uh, I, I did. I did play like a week or two and then I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to play anything. So it was a 29 day break then. <laughs> so 25. You... Only 25. Not even ratings? Nothing. Okay. So were you already expecting the normal matchmaking to come back or were you just... Uh, yeah, of course. Ratings? It was like... Uh, okay. um, well, uh, I think they, they they will know this if people look at... Uh, well, they they didn't probably get too much good feedback on it anyway. Mm. But like, yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be for a longer time. So like, okay, they have touched the matchmaking quite a few times over the years, but nothing drastic has actually ever happened. So I was thinking like this was gonna be one of those as well. Like, uh, they promise everything is gonna be like, oh, now you get people of your level, but then actually in the end nothing would happen. So I was just yeah. thinking this was going to be one of those updates as well. But unlucky it wasn't. This time actually they actually did something with the matchmaking. And it was not very fun. No. <laughs> I was actually trying and I was playing like 400 games or so at the start still. And I just... Yeah, I, I really try to find Did some you? pleasure yeah. yes did you like losing that much or <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i mean I, I try to just see some pleasure in just playing some more competitive games yeah and just i mean you're also playing tournaments without winning so just thought okay if i'm trying to completely ignore win rate and damage am i still going to be able to enjoy it is there a right no yeah. Was it very fun experiment? 
Could be a fire. No. Nope. They don't lit up anymore. They often are stated. Actually. I don't know, do, do you also just aim for fuel tanks always, or do you not care uh, too much? I, I do not care too much, just uh, okay. if you shoot the tank's ass, it's probably gonna lit up at some point. Yeah. yeah like, uh, I'm not too much of uh, aiming. At this point, I'm, I'm pretty used to that, actually, just especially on E100, just always shooting the rear track wheel, always trying to set yeah. the enemy on fire. Oh, I just well, shoot it so it's easier to like shoot because some moving tanks are hard to shoot. So I just yeah, shoot the track yeah. so I can shoot a <laughs> steel tank. That's <laughs> quite a lot easier. Only when there is a chance, and like then I go for it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we might see a bad shot coming up in the middle as well. Yes. Going straight oh, down, he doesn't want to take the fight. Yeah, he doesn't want to take the fight. But unlucky. It's coming up, back up. So he actually wants to take the fight, but does. Taking the fight of first. Our yeah. on the heavy side. Yeah, it's... Um, they kind of seem to be coming up. Be nice to get something done here before we have to run. Yeah, okay, nice. This would um, not be even that bad, actually. I'm mildly worried about 183, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm same. Like I'm waiting for him to peek, but nothing is happening. Okay. And the budget is staying still like uh, very far back, so yeah, TD spotted. Like they actually might not even be here. Yeah, yeah, I was kind yeah. of expecting the 183 to be where the budget is. Yeah, I was yeah. just expecting like uh, whenever they are not spotted, they must always be waiting for me. So yeah. they're somewhere up here, but okay, they weren't this time. Okay, to be fair, this encounter, they might be wherever they can. Okay, nice, nice spot. Uh, but it is in the corner. Mm. <laughs> and I'm just gonna trap now. Same. <laughs> uh, maybe up, yeah. Nice. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Again. Again, dead for the Death Star. Nice. Be careful watching uh, again. You should not have run me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, you, if you didn't ram me, I thought I will. Yeah. I just thought you were continuing up. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I, I mean, I I not a block just you. like yeah, <laughs> shouldn't have like. Okay, another lesson of why don't why don't you like you should not definitely drive behind tanks when you go anywhere because this will happen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one well, three is not peaking. Why? Bang. How is it actually still close? Because now he's looking. Oh. Yes, that's two and VK2, VK2 stop. Oh, one and three shot, nice. Nice. Good. You can go. Easy escape. Tanks are like their middle, they could just continue. We'll see if they actually do. Oh, I'm actually unspotted. Yeah. The 183, I don't, I'm not sure if you actually spot him. There's a push between. We'll be fine. Yes. Ready. Oh! oh. <laughs> you can, you can, yeah. You can just spot, they might actually, 268 is watching the right side. Oh, you will not have time for this, or will you? No, nah. he just doesn't pick. He knows. No, ah, oh, bang. almost. Bang. <laughs> Was going for the blind shot. <laughs> yes. Unlucky, he did not peek that much. Yeah. Uh, just to the chat real quick. Hi, Netwas, and also hi, Kevin. 
and Calestra flying. I realize you and your platoon mostly fly independent. Most people just fly really close to each other for the sake of it. Yeah, I think that makes more sense when flying some heavy tanks where you can, or even medium tanks where you're brawling and trying to play against the enemies frontally and just try to focus fire from very close distance. But with the batches, the main advantage is if you can go for multiple spots at the same time, can go for some crossfire and stuff like that. So it often helps to not just stay in the same position. Also, in, if I'm playing solo, I'm often paying attention to that to not do the exact same thing as my, like my teammates. Because if you are with two players in the same spot, then yeah, you're having double damage output from the same position, but you're giving up on the map control. And map control, especially at the start, is very important. But in this map, we could have uh, killed the 1A3 if he spotted him, and that would be yeah. very fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, how about going for... Some... Yeah, I think the top, oh, is, top is very clearable. Oh, Betcha oh. seriously died? He had like, strongest tank and good position. Oh, but I really hope I I'm have friends up. here. Yeah. Yeah, some of you. I mean, uh, the Sheridan is watching this. Oh, you yeah. Okay. Just go for TVP, please. Yeah. Okay. For uh, if he is in the 4K5, is in the heavy corner. Sherry shot. Did not run to a tramp. He's having some issues running away. <laughs> They all they all already have a budget and crown wagon in our spawn. So yeah, I might try and see. Oh, I'm spotted. Shit. Uh, I might mm. even have the Sheridan soon, but that might be too risky. Yeah, we still have to be careful. I went down the tank. And actually, I actually, I should control. have the Sherry from here. Or not? Will, please. No, he's 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 a little. He's hiding enough. But he's gonna pick this oh. shit. At some point I'll just run away anyway. I don't really wanna take this. I don't wanna force it yet. We have a quite a good hold in our spawn, like can't really see them pushing the jack panzer. But still I wouldn't like to just wait. Oh, oh 907 is your loading. Okay, yeah, yeah. position. Yeah, Maybe we, we can shoot the hell. We can maybe even see everything. Kronwagen is hit on B. He does not really know what he wants with the B. FV? Oh shit. No. Oh. Maybe I can see. Maybe I can see. Yes. Nice. Uh, Kronwagen, the... Yeah, full uh, Full HP Kronwagen, no? 1900. It's capped. The badger still might be in our... Uh, I think he actually is still where our badger died. So can, can I... Is unspotted? I, can, I, I would love to take out a dime 907, but he's covered. Yeah. He has not seen me though. Oh, she... The badger. Okay. And you have backup. Maybe I have... Able to deal We'll see. We'll see if my bro helps me. If he can see this budget. Oh, he can. Nice. That is very oh, nice indeed. Love it. Oh, shit. Uh, I will die. Oh, maybe I can oh. Uh, kill this. I oh. bounced the budget. I'm surviving. I'm actually surviving. I took a clip from the crown wagon. I did not die. No, oh no, man. No. Sheridan on the hill now. Yeah, uh, yeah. There. On their TD hill. Yeah, okay. Ah, yeah, it's not yeah. really a way to win this. No. Can't really go for the one tap. <laughs> okay. Unlucky. Yeah, <laughs> team 
I'll get it. I guess we didn't spot enough. But on the final note about skill based matchmaking, the only thing that I really enjoyed, or that I could enjoy sometimes, was platooning. Because I felt like this was really competitive then. Yes. Because you, you were also matching some other strong platoons, so it was mostly some other top 4 platoon. And yeah, I was playing with F there. Who was basically the only one who could still enjoy playing? <laughs> Everyone yeah. else on my friend list basically quit. Uh, yeah, and we were having some really strong platoons against us all the time, so there was some fun in that because then the teams were also balanced. Yeah, okay, it was like um, uh, back to uh, time, back to the time when you could play ratings, platoons. That was like. Uh, the closest you can get to it now there's like the feeling about like actual okay. rating. I get the point. Well, it was like, probably yeah. I don't think I've ever platooned in ratings. Yeah, it was there was a time when it was uh, like uh, you could have done it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, wa I was PP. I was PP back then. Probably eating sand and shooting tier mm -hmm. ten with tier eight tanks or something. Fail tuning, so yeah, okay. Uh, I'll... oh, nice. Can he hide himself? Mm, there's a Not badger anymore, below us. Yeah. The badger is below us somewhere. But I think you can blind fire the badger. Oh, okay, Mr. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Uh, you you can reload. We can uh, like. Uh, oh. Yeah, reloading right now. I'm gonna start trading with him already. Nice trade. I think that's uh, three. a clip. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll take the shot. Oh no! You don't have to. Oh, he gives the free shots. Unlucky. Let's just go. <laughs> that, yeah, that was very nice. Very nice movement. Which should I dodge? I dodge nothing. Okay, I have two. I'll just put them in. Or I'm not. reloading for 10. Do yeah, you have him? Okay. Uh, we have a badger behind. Yeah, yeah, you can. So, yeah, we can take care of him. Okay, two six eight. He is coming for you. Okay. Mm. Takes a while. That's one. Farming time. Oh, I I actually don't have my commander. I was like think, like, uh, why don't I still have my? Why do I still not have my clip ready when I came here? Oh, this gunner actually. Like, if he's dead, ah. it doesn't really help shooting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, every day you'll learn something new. If you don't have a gunner, <laughs> it's hard to shoot. I was just recently playing a little bit of World of Tanks PC instead of Blitz and then skill based matchmaking. So confusing with a dead crew and dead modules, you have to just press repair and then you have to press onto the module again. Then you have small crew repair kits that only repair or just heal one crew member and the others stay damaged dead. basically. Let's see, yeah, dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's that sounds yeah. a little bit too hard for yeah, you well, just after playing clicks. Like you need two clicks for, for repairing your armor rack. And you need to re nice. activate the repair kit and then you need to tap onto the module yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I got kind of like... Yeah. I got shot off a, a few times, let's say. Well, oh yeah. Okay. They were 
Yeah, there's two TDs and two light tanks in the uh, bush. And I should not stay here, but I'm still staying here for whatever reason. I'm trying to find for myself to stay. Living the tag life. Yes. Oh, okay. One of the lights is there. A Sheridan and a 1A3 and... I'm not sure. Okay, two six eight. the left side. Maybe. Maybe even help the with, from here to Vicarious. Actually, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm in face like with VK90. Will I do this? Yes. If you believe hard enough, you will do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now the Minotaro. Seems like everybody's coming that way, like they don't want to come here even. I'm stuck. No, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, unlucky. There's more enemies coming. Uh, I can maybe uh, come now. I'm fine. A little closer. I won't die here. Yeah. Oh, good. Bonk. Bang! <laughs> oh, I cannot I have a shoot from here. Uh, the Sheridan should be full HP. That's not good. Uh, yeah, I might have the 1A3, but I really don't want to pick the... Okay, Sheridan spotted. Shit. Can I go here? Without being spotted? I can. Nice. Okay, 268 is pushing as well. I uh, will just reload. Uh, so we are, we are three one shots and our HP is in their base. Okay, Sheridan is found again. Uh, he's running away from STRV, he does not want to take the fight. Oh, nice. Come on, Sheridan. Yeah. Show them pushing. Oh, okay. Yeah, one and three hit shot. I will just die. Yes, I will probably die or something. I'm not quite sure if I. Unless, oh my gosh. <laughs> Unless. I was driving up a wall. I don't know if he actually had the shot, but I felt like he had had the shot since he was staring at me. Yeah, I must have. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot imagine him having shot anything else there. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he struggled with the turret traverse. Yes. It reminds me uh, of IS-4 nowadays. IS-4 with a speed boost. <laughs> turret is constantly too slow. Yes. Now you just have to turn the tank with the speed boost to shoot on the side. Hmm. Oh. Two STVs, that's not very fun, but yes, Sheridan. And it seems like they actually might... Yeah, they might... So they might uh, uh, we have everybody coming up, I think they will have uh. everybody coming up as well, too. Ouch. Okay. So everything is on that side, they are like not even contesting the... Red line. Uh, oh, yeah, they're coming up. I will flank around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's not too much for me to do, but I'm, I probably just stay here for moral support or something. Maybe I can leave even. Just Might roll. help. I will try to find a Conroy and shoot him into the back then. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Conroy is up there as well. Conroy has the small gun, I think. The 400 half. Yeah, I don't really care. He's I mean, pulling. I'm far yeah, he's... I, uh, far away. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, and these are low here. Ah, okay, you're yoloing. Okay. Uh, no, 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 I'm tactically pushing the enemy tanks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I was just wait. Oh! Yes, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> now, tactical, now I like, uh, yes, yes. Yes. So now that they all shot me, uh, we can kill them. Hmm. Fair enough. Bang. <laughs> Maybe not too can smart. Uh, no. Unlucky. <laughs> nice high roll. It was 50-50, to be fair. <laughs> mm. Maybe they can win. There's, there's still chances to lose, but yeah. I think they will win. Oh, yeah, actually escaped. <laughs> you ran away. Oh, no. Let's go to the base now. Oh, bang. It was fast, boy. On the chat, Kalestra is just saying you need to pay, pay more for the full repair kit on PC. Yeah, pay to run mechanics all over. That's also what I noticed. Like, there's so much stuff where it doesn't. It's just this this trash pay to win stuff like premium shells dealing the same damage. So, they, and then the they, you need to reload the shells to switch them. Yes. That's so annoying. Why? Why would you do that? So you can just play premium only, and nothing yes. else even. You just play. You just pay a little higher price for the shots, but okay, I can take it. If I pen more shots, that's that should be yeah. fine. Okay, we're gonna blast them. We're gonna blast them crossing that river. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they have TVP. That might make make up for a good target for you. Then has to be. Mm, yeah, one. all of those mediums. To be fair, like mm -hmm. uh, STB is okay. STB is not that fun, but he's a little bit slower, so he might not even be there at the time. Or oh, actually, peek, peek, peek one more time. I dare you. <laughs> no. Mm. Okay. Oh, what the hell is all STB doing? They have 50 bit. Yeah, okay, he's going river push. Uh, they will all push you, pushed into the river now. And I missed the leopard again because he moved too much forward. Uh, oh, yeah, they have a 50 bit in town. They have a 50 bit somewhere away. in town. Okay. Uh, 50 bit is coming oh. from behind. Uh, I'm dead. Okay. I've got 183 pushing me. Oh my gosh. Yes. 50p as well. 50p one tap. A few shots. Okay. I can maybe run away? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. They don't really have the positions either. The leopard should die. The type on the right might die for going there. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm not gonna cry. I think he's gonna cry. Okay. Big carry. Maybe, maybe. Nice. Do they know I'm here? Do they remember I'm here? No, they don't. Ah, ha, ha, ha. ah nice. <laughs> <laughs> the unfairness. If unfairness was a tank, I'd say it is this one. Okay, one at three. <laughs> oh, TVP runs away. Yes, we, we take this, we take this. Now you low roll. Yes. Probably. Not this time, though. I would have, like... Hello. 
<laughs> so borrow, borrow some of your HP, please. <laughs> Bang. Uh, nice push by TVP. Mr. Yeah. Oinga. <laughs> I don't think, he, like, yeah, the iPhone was on the MS Poland, so... Okay, but yeah, uh, maybe, maybe it's just run time. Okay, 6k. Yay! Way! <laughs> that's, that's like... Five, yeah, five, five shots. Good job. Very nice, nice. very, very... Yes, very, very <laughs> skilled, skilled gaming. The fairness. That's at its finest. It's finest. <laughs> English hard. <clears throat> okay. Okay, okay, we take this, we take this. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will just... Yeah. I will just get yeah. to these. It's my first. I hope... Always. Yeah, I hope one of our heavies goes to he see him. As far as seems yeah. to be going. Because if he goes, we actually win this game by just being on the hills. It's a random game. It should be won by just having all the high grounds. Okay. We have a... Uh, probably heavies will probably just come here. Oh, the ice forest is not going. Sheeeeet. Yeah, that's a little... Unlucky. Oh, Will you die? No, 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 I just tried to track the Yag and my auto aim switched over to VK. He was behind yeah. him. So I failed the shot. Oh, standard. No, I cannot shoot that. Maybe I can shoot something that comes. No. Unlucky. One of three games be like this. <laughs> Nothing to shoot there. Yeah, now let's just wait for someone to. Well, oh, Jack Panther already went to see. Maybe. Why oh, he hits me with a snapshot, of course. But hey, Gamer. You would kill him, right? Uh, Maybe. He's a little bit too low. Like, uh, I, I cannot really shoot. Oh. I can shoot the... I can, I can help you with the standard if he would like to reverse. Oh. Ah, I was asking myself Bang. for my shotgun. It looked like I was perfectly aimed in at the Yag lower plate, the shot was flying into the right direction, and apparently it just disappeared on the E100. Probably, yeah. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. I think I want to kill you, though. No, unlucky. <laughs> Trying to think where's the... Yeah, it's the 907704. I can wait, I can wait, I can wait. I'm not in a hurry. Yeah, we're all the way around the enemy song. Bang! 709, yeah. 709, 704. Okay. Get these. Mm. Max roll. Uh, I, I don't know if I can actually shoot this before, knowing where he actually is. Please? <laughs> Not even getting spotted. Okay. You're doing your best, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Trying my Try hardest. <laughs> oh, actually, we didn't even win this yet. It's not like I can shoot him, but I thought it was the last enemy. <laughs> Unlucky. Yes, 1A3 is uh, the tank of uh, opinions, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a lot of people have an opinion about this tanker. So do I. I don't really like uh, 1A3 players. 
So does this mean I don't like myself? Uh, but funnily, oh. it is. It is like the E100 is the most played tank by players. But if you're looking at the total battles played, and the FV183, who is actually second by players, is mm -hmm. far above E100. So the few players who do play the 183 do spam it over and over again. Yes. And you're one of it's, them. It's, yes, it's, uh, it's uh, quite fun to uh, skillfully aim at a tank and uh, skillfully delete him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, okay, it takes a little, like, um, positioning is something you actually like. You, you have to train cool. quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Black Star getting deleted. I think he wants to shoot me now. Okay. Um, I will try to see if I can. Actually, they seem to be everyone in the ditch, except for one ah. of these middle tanks. I think I'll just go for their balcony or something. Yeah, and try to shoot their and bridge. Maybe kill yeah. the Black Star. Did he drop down? They might have. I'm not sure. Quite sure. They don't seem to be having any tanks in here. I think I should have Black Star. Oh no. Actually, no. He went. Down. Oh, I got spotted. How did I get spotted before peeking? Oh. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I cannot peek this side now because they are like everyone's preaming me. Oh. I can come back to our bush. Very nice driving around with 183. Oh. I mean, you can. If you're effective, then stay where you are. If not, then do whatever. I'm coming. I'm not gonna pick that bush. I don't really wanna get obliterated by bush. Okay, I can help. Let's say. You can. I think I'll let you have that. No! no. Of course, the last one fails. Okay. Thank you, RNG. Okay, it's coming. Yes. We guess coming up. Hmm. Everything's in the ditch. Okay, I'll just wait for. We have a jack answer in our spawn. I th I'm not sure. Quite sure if that's AFK or playing player. Oh, did I get spotted? I did get spotted. That's quite unlucky. I don't have the kind oh of person God. to shoot this. Now I have. Bam. The yeah, projecto is watching this way. Okay. Uh, I'll try to get the projecto. He's dropping down into the cap. Uh, I can. I can do it. Okay. You actually Bang. <laughs> Bang. Yes. <laughs> uh, we can kill this VK. Yeah, I'm onto it. Just actually, I will go for Leon. Hunt. Okay, yeah. We might have this by our two tapping, two tap devices. Bang! Oh yes. man! You have? Don't die. It would be very un. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It would be very not fun. Very not fun. <laughs> Too slow to ease against them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, maybe something else. Before before I actually do zero damage and hit nothing. I'm surprised you're not playing Batshit anymore. I always play Batshit. Yes, I can play a few, but I just it's like after after playing this so much, uh, uh, you have to play some other tanks as well. It will become quite boring if you just play one tank. How Six many and games in Batshit do you have? Six and a half k. Oh, very close to mine. <laughs> yes. I was looking at like uh, after the break I had exactly six and a half and now I played 16 today. So it's kind of ruined. So I, I guess I have to <laughs> just play for 7k now. I actually, I was trying hard on the bad shit. I was playing a lot of bad shit games before the skill based matchmaking, matchmaking to finally get the 70% uh, overall stats. Mm -hmm. 
and I did get them, then I kept playing and skill by matchmaking and lost them straight away. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Very nice, very nice. 50% win rate and bad shit in SBMM. <laughs> mm. It's, uh, well, okay, to be fair, it's not, it's like a rating by a, okay, it's not very fun. You have to just uh, quite of like, quite of like try hard all the time. You cannot just go shoot tanks. Yeah. Okay, there seems to be without no. any payoff. Yes. Uh, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, it was, it was like, um, yeah. No, I remember that. Like, uh, it was very fun pl since this uh, matchmaking came. It was now you had two matchmaking. One you get like another mode where you actually play rating with the points, and then you have a mode where you play rating without getting the points. So it was like uh, <laughs> kind of yeah. not really. It was not really any reason to play. I cannot actually shoot. Maybe we can just kill this E100, like everybody's around him. Uh, maybe, but I'm not going to stay here. Because the others are pushing okay. our spawn. Actually, I can yeah. stay. Okay, he's on. Okay. Yes, uh, there's... Uh, Light tanks and hurry on top. We can go for LT. Okay. Oh, he's AFK. Okay, even better. So. Oh. <laughs> Bang. I think I'll just uh, shoot the hurry. It's not like he's it? any different from AFK, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, let's just stay here. Uh, there's T57 on the left, at they least. All have a lot of hit points, so. Yeah. Everything. Oh, I7 is coming this way. Uh, I think I want to come that way as well. After all. I will armor wreck him, anyways. No, oh, come on, okay. come on. No. Okay, I can. Great. Very nice. Go oh, away, bad shit. Bang! <laughs> oh, I, I thought I would just ram him. Okay. I guess this is fine as well. I'm not gonna shoot anything anymore. Or am I? Yeah. Bang! Okay. Nice. Bang! <laughs> yes, yes. Tanks go boom boom. <coughs> Uh, by the way, to chat right now, I saw and Alpha as well, Darkman. <laughs> Serenity might um, stop playing bad shit. Yeah. Serenity was too strong to beat. <laughs> yes. Unlucky. <laughs> hi, hi yes. Zuti. Fellow Finnish guy there. I think you also say moi in Finnish, right? Yes. Moi. In moi. German we say moi. 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 Okay. Um. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's it. Did I spot it? No. I will spot to these again. Yeah. Oh, I can spot TDs as well. Unlucky. Oh. I didn't think I spot it myself though. Not yet. <laughs> we can 90 bounce me. That's the way to go. Oh, okay. I have so... T50, only T57 with me on this side. Maybe you should run? Uh, soon. Soon, soon. Uh, I'll try to get the one clip in this medium. Oh my, can I be safe here? I don't think so. Fucking hell, one of the three is aiming at me. Nice. That's, that sounds like a nice 
uh, free time adventure. Yep. Man, I want to move on completely trapped here. VK90, I mean, for me. Well, we on one side. Oh, yeah, okay, they are not even moving, they're just staying there. Yeah, okay, nice. Uh, I would like to make a move on this side, but. Okay, they might just. Nah. Flip this side. I don't know if the Batcha actually ran away. Just trying to cover my T57, bro. So the 268 won't. Okay, they will push him anyway from that side. I should just run. So I cannot cover him anyway. Oh, there's. Oh, we have. I was like. Feeling like we are actually losing quite a lot, but we have two 183s in our spawn hill. That kind of explains why it feels like we have no tanks left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did I just do? Butcher. Oh. Mm. Okay, he's dropping down now at the BK. He's going for the cap. Or this side. Ah! Actually, he might not even know by himself, so. Hamarak? No. Did not even tickle him. Yeah, but just sending middle. Kind of worried about the 268, but I should not be. It's only. Uh, it's only gonna nice. shoot once. Yeah, we might kill that uh, one. Where's the 268? Uh, somewhere C. Hmm, that's precise. <laughs> that, that is very, indeed. A more hit? Oh, I know, boss. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, VK is watching you. Oh? Yeah, and so. Yeah. We, we hit those, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all fine. Is it though? You died. Why, should, why would it be yeah. fine if you died? Oh? Yeah, I we did can. my part spotting and doing nothing. Staring down the enemies. Yes, yes. Uh, keeping. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Doing the <laughs> best. The best. Yeah, I was having my fun to some degree. <laughs> I can always say in, in Platoon I don't fly for damage, right? Just yeah. fly for the win. <laughs> yes. Just playing. That's fine as well. Not that serious. I was also part of this. <laughs> yes. Kitties. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello to Galxima and Rena. <laughs> Emery loves to say unlucky alpha size. Yeah, yes. remember, he is just uh, very unlucky. Yes. Uh, I'm going for the bridge. Okay. What do you like to do here on this map? Go with this push. I hate every position on this map. This push oh. is nice. You, sh you shoot tanks and then they shoot you back. Yeah, you always get spotted uh, there. Yes. They're right behind the bridge oh. you get spotted. It's so annoying. Yes. Oh, let's go for the other side. And now they actually shot me blind as well. And now I will... Oh, I will not take that shot. Right. Maybe we can we just can kill C-Cap. Yes. <laughs> all, all the mediums on the other side. Stop repeating me. Why? Anaki. Oh, Super Kong. <laughs> or Chieftain. We'll see. We'll see where the team, team wants to go. I think I'll just go for C and see if something oh. happens. Enemy is hit. That is very nice to know indeed. I 
Autsch. Well, that was only the first tank we killed, nice. Yeah, but the others are also quite low. Yeah, already. they they have a quite a lot of caps soon. I think I'll just get to see oh, with, with my yes, bro. Yes, indeed. Do you know when they capped B at some point? Okay, yeah. Uh, we can maybe kill. Two skits should be fine with that. Kind of weird mm. that we don't really have any advantage yet. Yeah. Really uh, I meant. Okay, nice. Uh, Sheridan is coming in as well. Shot. What was the medium? Caro. Yeah, uh, uh, Caro is two shot. That's the sherry. Okay, but he's coming to this point. They, they should be like both here with the sherry. Oh, I no, the Caro that was Caro was behind the gorilla. Oh, okay. Like, uh, oh. The sherry is coming in town as well. Or nice. no? No, it's three HP. It's not going anywhere. Oh. Battery low, very nice, very nice, ten percent. Bang. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh he actually oh. ran over here. He ran all the way up there. Unlucky. <laughs> Everyone wants to kill this. Everyone wants to all of the damage. Nice. I wanted to. No, you die actually, if you win some caps. It might. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, or, it was or, a bad or he can still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or he can just die. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that would he would have been quite quite close if he actually yeah. killed the badger. Yeah. It wouldn't have been very fun to play you. after. <laughs> I love those oh, just... situations where you're in the end of the game just getting overconfident, like, ah, it's win, easy peasy. And some... Yes, yes. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, nobody actually capped those caps. Oh, well, mm, yeah. unlucky, we lost. Unlucky. But I think as a, as a tournament player, you're more used to just playing safe at all times. Mm. Mm. I can always yellow in. Yeah, it's like um, most of the time, not always, but... Uh, yeah, okay, I like wins more than damage, because damage does nothing and win, win rate means different colors, very nice. <laughs> and seeding, but yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, better to win, I so it's just, if there's a cap, if there's a cap and I feel like, uh, feel like it's, it might be a close game, I just take it. I don't know, I felt like until 70% win rate, I was also very, very keen about just getting good win rate and then above that is not much of a difference honestly yes because the so color doesn't someone... change anymore <laughs> yeah I, I don't reach the 70 percent in overall stats anyway so yeah okay, okay I, uh, I, 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 I will i will i will at some point it's not too far away anymore of course, you mm. get there easier by just uh, making making a new account, but... Uh, yeah. I just uh, like I'm playing gonna, solo I, too I, much as well. I don't really want to grind these tanks all over again. Oh, Krill, show me. I, I, I don't think I can even pen this Minotauro. I should have yes, pen can. boost. I did not... Are you playing without? I'm not... I might be, I'm not sure. Since it's been 25 days. <laughs> I can't <laughs> remember what I had, like uh, trying to figure out what kind of equipment I had and for what reason that would be like. Uh, I always play on shit with pen boost and supercharger as well, so yeah. Otherwise, I feel like it's too unreliable. I still cannot pen him. Why? Why do I still go try? Because now I can. Edgy. Very much, very much damage. I, I block him for you. Yes, I, I reload. <laughs> and now we can go win the game. I mean, die. E100 shot. So TP has not. I would burn him down. Yeah. Bang. 
Give me that fire. Bang. No, oh, I got the fire, one? man. <laughs> Why you shoot them? <laughs> okay. Don't go the boom boom. Coming. Just go boom boom. Oh, you die actually. Unlucky. No, 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 I don't die. Just get some extra damage. <laughs> yes. For him. <laughs> for me as well, just a little bit. Yes. Who cares about damage ratio? <laughs> Okay. Gonna, oh, uh, something. Answer the chat real quick again. Uh, right, then got stuck. Uh, hi to Legend Zendis. Good night to you. And also Reborn Nikita. Are you Dark Times? Uh, yeah. It's Nikita. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So they are coming to watch you now. Unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> Some spotting stuff coming. Yes. Again. I, am I going uh, up the hill? Nah, not with this line yeah. of people against Batshit and TPP. We can track. They're not even coming. Oh. What the hell? Nice track shot. Oh. Oh, nice. Um, Bang. they have Be 183 bitch. and Gorilla. I think we should spot them and kill them. I'm thinking about still going up the hill. Yeah, Gorilla shot. yeah it, it would be it would be nice like this time. No, they wouldn't even expect it. Okay, 183 spawner. Oh, I'm actually spotted for 183. Okay. Yes. I think the grill is just the same place as the 183. Oh, TVP yeah. is actually hanging outside. <laughs> okay. Is he coming this way? Yes. Yes, he is. 183 shot again. Unlucky. Ah, grill is pushing down. Yes, everyone wants me. Oh. I want the grill. Oh. Yes. TVP. Uh, I7 is going uphill. Ooh. No, it's not. Bang. Great, I cannot do anything. Gorilla are we probably ending on me, or Gorilla at least. But he cannot even kill me. Yes. So, who cares? Yes, you can peek. Oh, bang! Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Orgasmic bang. <laughs> Shooting the tanks. Pew pew! Uh, Zuti is asking you, Elmeri, or actually Elmeri, right? To roll yes. down? Yes, it's, it's a hard uh, R. Hard. Wait, before yes. I get to the question, why the name Elmeri? Elmeri. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I actually, I actually am very, very good at, uh, uh, um, I'm, uh, very good at naming things, so. I could not name myself, my account with my own name because it was already taken, so I had to figure out another way. So I had to just okay. swap one of the E's for three. Wait, it's so it's so like an old gamer deck, it's like uh, whatever, it's like 10 years old or something like um, so, uh, so I, gamer I, tag I, I once had. Yes, it's my real name, name as well. Yes, ah, it's okay. my actual name as well. So, no, very, very no. mystic, mystic uh, story of getting a nickname. <laughs> I can't have my real name because it's taken. I just can I swap some numbers in place? Yes, I can. Nice. Yeah, okay. So, to look up, uh, to know the meaning about it, you would have to look it up. <laughs> yes. Okay.
Oh, the Godfather. Bro spinning. <laughs> okay, one <laughs> is here as well. Uh, oh, you place with speed boost. That's going to make him reload faster. Yes, I can reach safety. A little bit, fa a little bit faster. Oh, well, okay. No, I don't want to take a shot from you. <laughs> okay, there are platoon, there are platoon. He popped oh. his uh, head. Oh, okay. Uh, mm. Will it be fine? Yes? Yeah, I'm just still taking out the RV. I think he's not going in. Yeah. I have the gun elevation. I fucking uh, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. <laughs> uh, at some point, at some point, at some point. Uh, if I hate one thing about a bad shit, it's the gun elevation. Oh, I actually hit it. Hit it. One of the three actually hits that. Okay, TVP went down. Uh, the TDs are still TVs. killable. Yeah, they're still killable. Okay, both are off. Yeah, Jack Panzer shot. Just shot the corner. Can I high roll, please? Badger. No. It's fine. Like it. Rasenia, here we go, here we go, oh unlucky, light is dying in our base. <laughs> I was Actually, pretty lucky to be honest, the 183 just filed a hash and only did like 200 damage on me. Nice, skill, wiggling. Yeah. Bang. Uh, I am actually safe, okay. No. Just giving up. <laughs> Oh, unlucky. You st now you stole my rush because I did not even go for it. But I think you uh, still stole my rush. It should be punishable by losing no, the next him. kill. Okay, unlucky. I come. Oop. The TVP might be coming up as well. It should be on my right side. So, coming behind. Yes. You can just get, get to the safety. Yep. So I will I will shoot these bad guys. So he shot a couple of times, I guess. Ah, tracks me and gets killed. Okay. Nice. Bang. So just to read again, Dark Time is not Reborn Win. Reborn Win is Nikita. And yes. Dark Time is Roman. Yes. Okay. Reborn I, I heard you in the context of EU tournaments as well, so I heard your name there. Who are you on EU? If you're playing on EU as well. ASDFT Shifty in Upper. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, the... How yes. was... Uh, and Wild Ones was calling him Keyboard Smasher? <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, probably a little... Uh, uh, let's say another... Uh, way to find a nickname <laughs> <laughs> oh we hit those we hit this oh one at threes or something please one at threes i will spot probably not one at threes but uh, yeah, okay. keep going oh my god oh my god oh my god free butcher see your loin Ah, uh, he's going down. And E6 is sending it. E6 is yellowing. I, oh, I want to come this way. There's tanks on plane. Oh, Sherry shot. Nice. Yeah. So I think I saw the Prosetto if I'm not really like too much going on high. Yeah, the Where Sherry is still points? in the bush. Uh, yes, Sherry and Isaac shot me once, both. So I kind of like lost them. Hmm. Okay, I can kill this. I, I cannot even. Track critical. Pumping Pujito, okay. Yeah. And one at three. So one uh, one at, both are in our base City, with the yeah. one VK. VK is there as well, okay. Bang. 
Bang. Oh my gosh, Bang. I don't get spotted right now. Is there actual safety here? Yes, there is. You have? Oh, very <laughs> nice, very nice. Very nice to have to oh. get to shoot the last shot as well into him. Oh. I don't have any other targets anyways. Yeah. Can you Luckily, move? I still Please had move. a last shot. Yes. Oh, he, he, I, th I don't think he's surviving too much. Ah. Oh, you actually shot. Nice. I didn't know. I thought he would move rather than I just move. Ah. I, I was, saving I, was fuel. I was just supposed to ask you a question. How much do you train with a team? And when training starts, do you wait after map announcement? Yeah, um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, no. <laughs> you don't <laughs> really need to. <laughs> yeah, you you don't really need to know the maps. They are gonna be the same maps as every time. It's just in different order against different teams. You can just play tank game for well to be in shape. Very nice. Okay. Learn team play and. Then the, when yeah. the maps are announced, you just know which map you're pl maps you're playing. Not too much yeah, of a difference. I think every every tournament player at the top level will have played every single map in the game, and therefore, there are the, the strats do exist already, and it doesn't really matter which maps are eventually going to be picked. Yeah, it's yeah. Some maps might not be favorites, but yeah, you can. Probably have played quite a few times on every single map, unless you play only uh, supremacy and never have to play encounter. And then you never play mines. But then again, you don't have to play those maps in tournaments as well. Okay, very nice. Uh, they're pushing caves or no? They're just moving up on the caves. Bang. Oof. Uh, Bang. I can come over. I mean, they are just pushing uh, the other side mostly. Okay, uh, I would not really want to be. Okay, projectors we coming. You can just kill ish. the. You can show. Yeah. You can kill Sheridan on your own. Yeah, I'm just clipping. Uh, I die. No, I don't. Oh, no. Ah. Okay. Okay, sorry, it's six tanks, seven, five tanks, five tanks at this moment. Can't keep up. Where is the last one? Okay, which one? Which is the minus one? Uh, if I was missing. No, uh, no, no, no. It was, it was Jack is in, uh, in uh, road. Oh uh, yeah, but five is just uh, low hit points actually yeah. already. Yeah. He was doing a little move. Unlucky. This patch that is not going to peak. Unlucky. Ah <laughs> 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 uh, ha ha. Okay. Mm. Okay, so Jack Panzer was like 1100 the last time I saw him, so probably even less. Oh, no, okay. Uh, ah. I probably just go for the E5 then. How do I even go? Don't really have to. Okay, at least. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I wrote something. <laughs> okay. Taking, okay. taking. Yes, yes. Taking this. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna die. So I cannot climb. Oh, I actually did get to shoot twice. <laughs> yes. What yes, the hell? Yes. Okay. I, I drove to a rock and I did not get to climb up, so... <laughs> I was not talking about you, to be honest. I was just looking at the minute oh. over there, who was having the Yagi 100 to the front. Could have shot him, she could have killed him, but instead he turned to the VZ-55 and then got set on fire by Yagi. Too much. Or not enough damage, to be fair. Nah. Oh. So are you playing tournament or training at the moment already, or are you still waiting? 
yes and no. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, always, I, I like to train. I, I don't really care. I have to play trainings uh, to stay in shape. It's like just playing randoms doesn't help. So I'd rather have uh, trainings between like mid seasons as well. So you don't really lose the touch. Because Alpha was just saying that uh, most of you were probably playing RU, but mm. yeah. So you still play EU. Yes. Driving yeah, there got to be some games. some serious competition with the RU Leicester tournament, right? To EU. Mm -hmm. You probably also played with the thought of playing on Russian server as well. Uh, did you do so or did you decide against it? Me? Yeah. You. <laughs> to play on Russia? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, what now? Did you... Did you play? <laughs> yes, yes. Do you play? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Unlucky, unlucky. <laughs> Very, very so secret team infos. Cannot, cannot disclose anything or cannot be ah, okay. dis disclosing. Yes. Okay, okay. No. Oh. Betcha is doing the stay of death. Hmm? Betcha is doing stay of death, looking at me. Yes. Hoping that I will yes. die from just that. He's coming for you now. No, no, no. He's going around. He's coming to the, I think. He's going for you. Oh no, he's actually coming for me. Okay, why? There's a KPC in B cap. Okay, which I have already. If you're successfully. He's also on me right now. Yes, uh, yeah, I have to, only one more. Okay, okay, okay. We take this, we take this. Or I can just track. Okay, I think that's happened. fine enough. Yeah. Should not be too hard shot. Doable. Oh, 5%. I already forgot I should. <laughs> well. Charge it. Yes. It's, oh. Yeah, actually. He's coming. Bang. Oh, unlucky. Oh! Oh no! Oh. Very uh, nice. Oh! Quite a lot of more damage in the field. Mm. I don't think I want to shoot you, bro. Bang! Bang! Tricks. Sick tricks, sick moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so five percent means that's five games or something. Just use a charger, like little cable that you plug in to the bottom of your iPad. No, no, no. It's just if if it runs out of battery, it means you have to buy a, buy a new one. So this yeah. is why, like. Uh, Esports uh, is very costly sport. You like uh, the price pool should be quite a lot higher, so we can buy devices whenever they run out of battery. No, yeah. it's uh, it's very very not not fun to play with a charger. Like it blocks <laughs> the fingers, so it's not very fun. Are you playing on a phone? No, an iPad, but it's still. <laughs> it's still blocking my fingers. Are you playing on a mini iPad? No, it's uh, no. Are iPad you having Pro, a huge chance? No, but I just have a crypto. Uh, I have my one of my fingers like on top of the uh, charger hole. So that's impossible, man. Yeah, no, no, no. It's in the middle, and I have a. I just block it with my middle finger. While grabbing the iPad. Why? I cannot imagine how you're holding it. You're also playing Claude, and I believe. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. Thumb playing with 
with just two thumbs would be quite amazing to play uh, with blocking your <laughs> charger hole. That would be quite... quite <laughs> yeah, indeed. I'm just it's trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's a, it's a claw uh, grip, so it's a little... I still, I'm also playing with claw and I'm still having like two centimeters to the charging thingy. Clock. Yes. Charger thing. Where you put the charging thing. Oh, can I kill? No. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, one and three are both here and Sheridan is still with them. I think I'm just coming that side. Yeah, we are losing time well, quite we fast. Just, we will win against Liu and VZ anyways. No issue. Okay. Uh, Sheridan is coming as well. Oh, TP. He's watching this way. Or no, not anymore. Okay. Sherry. Reloading? Oh. I am. Two. Reloading. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm tracked. They tracked me. Uh. <laughs> I think you should shoot those rocks. For tracking you. Oh! Ah. <laughs> flying. Okay, TP. I just real. Um, I just reloaded when he climbed up. Uh, yes, shoot the budget. Yes. Not this budget, but the other budget. Uh, I'm trying to get those 1 trees. Okay. So I think. Okay, I can. Would probably make the game easier if they're... Oh, he shot. Yes, yes, my budget yep. is full armor. Full armor budget. Cannot even pen with TP. Hello. Ah, Hello. Okay. Ah, Anaki, Anaki. Oh, Amorak. Amorak. Very nice. Very <laughs> nice. 304. 304 Amorak. Very nice. Very needed. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, what was I about to say? Nikita asked Hello. me how do I like tournaments on IU. Well, I've, I've always loved watching the tournaments on IU. I, I've not, I've seen the last one though. I've, I've seen the POV stream from Ufpinjash. I've seen like mostly, mostly actually Ufpinjash streams there. Mm. There's also... Like, because of his streams, I learned a lot of my own gameplay. Um, yeah, and the, the games on IU have always been super interesting. All the really complex strategies, a lot of mediums and a lot of movement going on. EU is kind of close to that sometimes. But then on NA, it's really stale. <laughs> yes. Same as IEPAC often. I'm not a fan of these very slow paced gameplay. Yeah, it's it's not too much fun to look at to be honest. Or play. It's kind of pretty yeah. It's you you play for your initial position, then you put the iPad on the table and then you go take a cup of coffee. Hmm. Or actually you cannot because Ooh. you have to keep keep um, moving your tank like ten meters forward, backward, forward, backward. For four minutes and then you <laughs> make the push. Um, okay. Oh, I'm still spotted? Okay, cool. Cool, bro. Cool, bro. Cool story. We've got yeah, one they're, guy... They're playing. Well, the heavy is capping A and TVP pushing yeah. off on, so... Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, some useful things. <laughs> I will try. Yeah, they're escaping into town. This platoon. For our T22, it would be nice to get them out of the game. Oh, unlucky. That does not really help. Mm. I, yeah, I can maybe kill the medium. Yeah, okay, I can. Bang. No, he's watching for me. No. And bang. It's gonna get me <laughs> dropped by a oh, lot of tanks. 
Yopal, uh, Yoplag with a small gun. Okay. TPP is probably full reload or something. Or not anymore. Yeah, he okay, didn't shoot me. I mean, he bounced me once. Doesn't count. Okay, I'll just shoot him then. Uh, I don't really want to cap this. I'll just wait for my combo to reset. Let me get a little further back. The rocket tank is... Yeah, he's ah. still there. X-rocket tank. Of course, cannot have rockets anymore. Un unfair rockets. I bounce? I think okay. I kind of remember you were also playing that one a lot back then. I'm spamming yes. a lot of missiles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> that's why I still... Yeah, I have like... Uh, yeah, okay. 1k does not tell much, but it was very fun, very fun. You shoot behind <laughs> wall, tank takes damage. It was, um, well, to be fair, like, quite a lot of... Okay, nice. Unlucky you died. Um, it was very nice to counter all those, like, uh, IS-4, like, holding in mm. randoms and in tournaments as well. You just, like, now you actually have to play around. You cannot just stay in the most obvious places, hold down farming, but like now you actually have to do something, so it was very fun and of course because you can shoot the tank without getting shot. It was fun. Of course, it, it's, it was like very awful DPM, so you, if they just uh, don't want to get rocketed, they just kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was fun. It was quite con controversial was opinions yeah, about it as uh, well. Definitely. So I'm a little bit surprised that you're actually that positive about the missiles there. A lot of people really hated them. Yes. Of course, you were the light tank player and not the heavy tank player getting missiles into the top. <laughs> yeah, it was a well, like, yeah. It was, it was different from the, like, normal gameplay. Just, like, you cannot just shoot behind walls, but now you can. It was very refreshing, let's say. Okay, he is there. I'll just run away. We yeah, we seem to have. Uh, I can come. I can come. You can kill this TP. I was just trying to ask for that. But I will have to shoot these other oh. things. Okay. Oh, I'm four spotted. five. Fuck. I'm, yeah, I tried. Tried to shoot, but I'm spotted now. Uh, I will come here now. It will take some time. I think it... Yeah, all far in all rush. I mean, yeah... Um, yeah, they will, they will send it into our side now. Yeah. E50M, maybe you can shoot him? No, you're also with me here. No, they already went. I think we just killed this. Take the best mm. we can. I think I will, shoot, I will just go for FE45. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I can... I can kill him. I shot him once. Yeah, I shot him once. Oh, I'm getting... TP is watching that way then. He shot. Okay, TP. Yeah, he shot as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Laka. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking he was like... Looking I hope it's... I, yeah, Leper, Leper was this side. Yeah, he's still there. He's watching this, he's watching me, he's still killing me, he's blind firing me. Oh crap, is he? No extra shot. I might have one. If he does not run into base, if he runs left. No, he did not run left. Uh, uh, anyways, I'm not going in there. Not feeling okay. good about this, the others will also come. Mm, yeah, okay. Uh, they have... Still quite a lot of tanks. It's Leopard. Yep. BM boss. This is nice. I have no idea what's capping the base. I didn't get spot shooting. Okay. Probably uh, he's the boat there. Okay. Mediums. We still have a full E100. That's very nice, actually. Yeah. It just makes sure well, you're staying alive. And yeah. Can I keep this spotter? Nice. I'm trying to crossfire him right now. Yeah. 
not sure if... Oh, I got spotted. Okay. Nah. No, that low roll. Miss. Uh, I mean, I miss. Uh, mouse is climbing up. So you're the only one with ASP nowadays. Not good. Especially since the bad shirts is also still having quite a few good points. TD. Yeah, he's come. This is budget here. Um, probably a one tap for him. Oh, he oh, misses. No. Ah! I didn't get to shoot him before I died. Okay. Yeah, he's full reloading with the bad shot. He's just gonna be escaping. Maybe. Ah. Maybe you can even kill him. You can kill him. Bang! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 50 is, 50 is low. Uh, if 50 m is a one shot with HE, mm -hmm. mouse will just cap A. I'm not going to be winnable. Or what the oh. hell? Not even HE. Oh. You can just uh, pen, pen, pen. Just bang. <laughs> I can just pen, yeah. It's yes. uh, actually a good idea. Yeah. No, it's going for B as well. Yeah. Mm, 1300 and. You well, to be fair, yeah, you don't have time for capping. You might even be able to. I'm not sure if you can even uh, clip the mouse. Mm, the TD is kind of sussy. It's, it's a little bit more. Oh, he actually backed off. Nice. No, he's still alive. Oh. I'll set him on fire, easy. Yes. Nope. Yes! Oh! Cap. Oh, unlucky. I can't. Yeah. Unlucky. And he will He's just pushing. keep you there. No, he will not. He will just keep you there. Oh my god. <laughs> Amorak, 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 Amorak. Bang, bang, oh, no, bang, bang. I don't even have time for the whole clip, yeah. sadly. Come on! <laughs> oh. Yes. Man. Um, <sighs> this was like third time we, we meet this same platoon. Or fourth, I think third. Oh wow, 2%. Now I actually have to get this charger thing. Oh yeah, okay. Going for it. Again. Before it was... It would be unlucky if it actually ran out. Yeah, playing late at night is always a little bit like just in skill-based matchmaking with the platoons because they're always having the same platoons against you. Mm. So a lot more try hard. Mm. This, I, I cannot really play with the charge, it just changes too much my hand position. Like this seems weird. But you have to. Yeah. Unlucky. <laughs> Don't YOLO. Why? Because no team. Pew. Hello? See tanks? Oh, it's the same platoon again. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm, why I'm saying it. But they aren't doing this too well there. Uh, 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 uh. And I ended it for your camo. This camo that you have is so great. I wish I had it. Yes, same. I, I wish I had it too. Or you actually I hit that? I didn't. I thought I hit that, but my commander said nothing, so I probably didn't. Oh, we have all caps, except A. <laughs> Maybe go for A then? <laughs> yeah, I think. I think. If you, if you can clip that A50 on the side. Uh, maybe I should just shoot not, because I will probably die doing it. I will just for now. I will just give some backup to my Fosh here, who's probably going to die. Mm -hmm. I will have to uh, take my cable off so I can actually play this game. Changes. 
Um, hmm. Oh, they're actually still there. No. Oh. They already. We have a SU coming. Why? Why are they going in? Why are you going in, bro? Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? Uh, an Ausborn E4 Fosh, we can kill them maybe. Uh, I'm already in their spawn, too deep. Maybe I can actually like play around a little. Just coming for you. I guess I'm dead. I mean, not really dead. But like destroyed, you mean? You know. Oh my gosh. Oh, I That's actually so killed her. Do you have shots uh, on the that? I have no idea. I'm like. Oh maybe. no, there's another yes, one. Yes, I have. I have. I think I'll just cap A. <laughs> More caps. <laughs> yes. Will he blind shoot me? Or will shoot? No, I just shoot, shoot him. Oh, I think I actually hit that. Are you still getting nightmares from the time where you're playing against Serenity here? Yes, yes, this. this I, I, <laughs> I, I, I will remember this for a... For a while. <laughs> It was great to see. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Yeah, they won't put, they won't spot me. Bang! <laughs> Will I be okay, able to stay alive for... It. No, but I, they were not capping anymore. Hmm. Oh! I, st I stuck. I stuck at the building. Hmm. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I think... I mean, I mean, oh, oh, why? Not, not fun. Yeah. I was thinking of just running away, but like I wanted to... Okay, yeah, I wanted to like be there. So if I probably, I will probably meet a tank. So they will stop like going for the caps because it's still three tanks. They can cap three yeah. caps at a time. So if I and, keep and, and, a few away... I was uh, asking myself why I didn't push into VZ instead of the Tran. Because Tran could yeah. be here. VZ maybe. Yeah, maybe. I was still like, uh, yeah, okay. Probably he can HG, yeah, but that's uh, yeah. a little bit unlucky if he actually does. But, um, I, like I thought, like I checked my HP, like he's not gonna two shot me. But he did. <laughs> Unlucky. Yes. You're spotted by Sheridan. Yes. You can kill B. Okay. What is it on B? Oh, no, T57. Uh, yes. Yes. And they have E4 there as well. Uh, yeah, okay. Holy moly! Kid is outside, of course. Because why would he not be outside? I was expecting him to be outside already. Can you fuck off, please? I mean, fluff off. Because that's a mean word. Cannot use. Okay, bro. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Zuti. Much appreciated. Yes, yes, I'm coming. I come, I come, I come. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Are you talking to me? Me? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, I probably am not even talking anymore. I shouldn't be. Uh, okay, we have a full HP tanks. This should be a, a win. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So let's say I just uh, held them a little longer up. No, oh, I didn't. Don't hit those. Okay, he's in the ditch. The A50 is in the ditch. 
Yeah, but I don't really care. Kitty it. wants to shoot you. Yeah, I know, but... He does not shoot. They're coming this way. Unlucky. Okay. Whoops. I killed <laughs> Turn them into you. <laughs> yes. I was thinking like, like uh, I can come like now that you are on the other side. I can come behind them, and then you came to my side, and it was like, oopsie. Uh, I don't want to come anymore. But he was not. Uh, he did not realize don't enough. Don't forget to charge in between games. <laughs> oh fucking sh! <laughs> yes. Okay. Two percent. It's still fun. I can wait for a game with uh, like. Having the screen as well, no all the brightness off. Like when I'm holding the iPad, I'm just having. Like I don't know if people can. It's my it middle. Hand, my it's two centimeters though. <laughs> two. Yeah, so I'm playing on an iPad Air 2022, so quite a bit smaller. It's, it's a huge part. Smaller, of... uh, this is this is uh yeah this is 2021 iPad uh, iPad Pro with the M1. Thing, and 11 inch. Have, I don't know, you must have hands like Hagrid or so. No, I just hold them like, I just hold this. I don't want to drop it, so I hold it like I don't drop it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like a baby holding onto the cup. <laughs> yes, I, yes I, I, I don't want to let this thing go. Not over yet. Bang. This is not over yet. Lol. I didn't know that yeah. I get spotted for this. Now I, I have to... I the train rigging. Nice. Uh, so, we can just kill them, I guess. Yes. The others are on D. I guess. It seems like we have everyone here. Okay, oh, now they have uh, quite a lot of tanks here as well. Maybe we can go for those... ...in the ditch. Which? It would be nice to have a heavy tank or something like just drive on them. I'm not oh. hitting anything from here. Okay, I can get get there. 50 B. Our light tank is coming. Shit. Is Joe coming as well? Yeah. Careful. Yo is with the smaller gun. Yeah. Tri triple. Good. And there's a car I was two shot already. Uh, yes, I think I can um, take this shot. So. Two one hundred clippable. I'm gonna take this whole clip from the... Uh, or no, he actually shot the crown. I always clipping. Yeah, actually... Do you want to one shot, maybe? Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, minus. Minus one, okay, I'll go in on the job. Two. Or one, I think that's one. That's only one. Okay, he should not be. They pulled two. No, he does not want to kill it. Okay. Or did the Hori die? No. Enemy, I think. What's it? Coming you? Oh. No. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> uh, bang bang. Laugh as well. Yeah, I got banged. Uh, by the way, Zuti and others, if you are considering to donate, which is not requested, but I always appreciate it, of course. <laughs> um, oh, please consider using the ko fi link in the description or above because YouTube takes 40% of the, of the, like, of the whole amount. But still activated just because people usually don't look at the description. And Ko-Fi only uses uh, only takes five percent. It's the same as on Twitch. Yeah, and the standard version, like using the bits there or here, super chat is always super expensive. But you get a cool text. Yes, uh, you can see the text on the screen of, of from the other pages as well. 
just that it didn't mark any or pinned in the chat then. I have actually 5% now. I can take it off. Of. <laughs> Until the next battery warning. Yes. Maybe we can kill the Havis quickly. Or maybe we can clip the E3 into spawn. I don't think he's going for the heavy side there. But never mind, we'll see. Oh. Oh, they are all here. <laughs> Out. I'm oh, not even okay. Luckily, only... you missed me. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Well, still kind of worth it. Oh, you only took two shots? Nice. So that was better than expected. Uh, we can YOLO 907. Uh, okay, yeah, I can come. Just got that off the middle. TVP is pushing in. TVP pushing. Yeah, I'm just sending in. Just cutting the map in half from here. Mine's LT shot. Oh, I didn't even no. realize he was actually oh, here. Ben, I'm oh, lucky. Didn't get to ram again. Um, <laughs> all of this was in the middle, and STRV is uh, low. It's just as a car. Luckily, they only have the E3, so no campus. Mm -hmm. And he was in the middle as well. The speed boost. Oh, mines. Unlucky. One and three. Ah, the others are pushing. Okay. I actually cannot hit this. Okay, nice. Nice shots, nice shots. How do I say thank you in Finnish? How to say thank you in Finnish? Yeah. Kiitos. Ki kiitos? Kiitos. Kiitos. Okay. Yes. So, kiitos. Kiitos sotiin. <laughs> yes. Finnish is a strange language. It's interesting. Very, very it's strange. Like... Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not <laughs> hearing it often. I don't have much of a clue of how it sounds, but it's... Like, there are a lot of very uncommon sounds, like throaty sounds and rolled R's, which I cannot even do. I cannot roll the R with my tongue. I can only roll it in the back of my, of my uh, mouth. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to quit now. So I'd say uh, thank you for the games or kiitos peleistä. <laughs> kiitos. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, have you. a good, have a good, good night. night or something. Yes. <laughs> if it's still not night yet. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. So. That was Elmarie. I defend the Napoleon. How do I quit the platoon? No. <laughs> Big noob. Maybe someone else. Loading. Uh, let's see. Who's that? I think I know. That usually also works. Okay, so I will just go for solo then. <laughs> I'm not feeling like quitting the stream yet. For how long have I been streaming? Three and a half hours. Yeah, I won't go for too long anymore. Just a little bit is still possible. <laughs>
Yeah, 81% Napoleon is dying. Finally works again, some of the SBMM is removed. Although I still played some solo games before, which were not too great in terms of win rate. But Platoon quickly fixed it. <laughs> Let's check for TTs here. Mwah. That's a TD. Rather shooting that guy instead of a 50 TP, which I was unlikely to penetrate anyways. Mostly it's just better to shoot those which are hard to get. Oh, give me an ammo rack. Nope. Nice. <laughs> Struggling with 50. Oh man, you will get there if you if you're watching the stream then soon you will also be over 50. I tried shooting that turret ring there. Come on, Avi, don't you want to kill that VK? Once you reload. Ah. Avi, can you bite, please? I'll probably take another shot still. Oh no. Hope I don't get shot from the right side. Uh oh. Yep, E5 camping in a corner. Man, this E, this RV here. Just camping all the time and aiming for the left side without having any shots there. He probably still found some damage, but he totally lost us the game since he was not really active in the fight. Supporting the left side was just not going to work out. If he only spotted the right side a little bit better, I might have shot the, killed the V guy. And then turn to the left, maybe we could have killed the 50tp together. Oh, I don't have legendary camo. I don't really... I don't know. Oh, yeah, actually, I do have the legendary camo as well. But I swapped it out because I also do enjoy this one. Let's go for it again. I do have many camos on a bad shit. Well, this is the one I have on every tank. Uh, 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 that looked better before PBR. What else do we have here? I think I had some more. This is also kind of cool. This I also have on every one. <laughs> Christmas camos, the old rating camos, they grinded for it there. Okay. So, I got denied there. Uh, Kevin asking for platoon. Well, if you're not getting, if you're not called Wagner Commander anymore, then yes. But otherwise, I'm, I will deny. <laughs> then I might still go for platoon. Hmm. 
Check the map here. Team is not really doing much right now. I think I will run. Okay. I think we probably can kill the left side here. Yeah. Ah. Other one, other TD was over there. Okay, he's already already behind us. Reload faster, please. Okay, let's just. Do the mediums there. Good. Bit risky the way I peek there. But hey, no risk, no fun. Like that. Whoop. <laughs> That's already get closer to the eleven one. Like. That's the fun of batch applying. <laughs> and just <laughs> rushing behind the enemy, putting out the clip and running away again. Running away from the fight and being the first one in the fight again. Being the first one in, last one out, basically. <laughs> which one, yeah, which gun do I prefer? Well, the one that I'm playing. Obviously, <laughs> but it is being the case that the other one's really not that great. Okay, um, so sorry, Kevin, but I'm already taken. No. Uh, the other gun, I tested it out a little bit. It does have better DPM, obviously. That's the only reason speaking for it. On the other hand, it is way too inaccurate in my opinion. First, there are two big reasons speaking against it. Accuracy, you need, you have a lot of a long aim time. So if you're going for snapshots, then you will miss some shots. Uh, second reason against it is the low alpha damage. So you will have to shoot more often than in order to get your damage done. And if you're having to shoot more often, then also means that you're having to peek out like that's just happening. You have to peek out more often in order to shoot. As a result, you're having a higher risk of taking shots as well. So, two big reasons for me to not go for the small gun. Well, the only reason DPM it would mean theoretically that you would have to be super aggressive. So the the small gun only has an advantage if you manage to really play aggressively with a bad shit and circle enemies a lot, but that's just not the kind of play style you want to go for. The big gun makes things a lot easier. Which light is the best one in my opinion? depends on the level honestly like with all tanks it always depends on the level of the player asking or the player 
going for the tank. Like, for me or for any other top player, the Batshit would be the best one. Although the light tank, the T100 LT can also do some great stuff. But it's not quite that's good, not, not just as good as the Batshit is. But if you are still rather on the beginner side, just still getting used to the game basically, then you will do a lot better on the Sheridan. Because you're having a high alpha gun and can just penetrate enemies easily. So you are less likely to run into some issues. The worst one then clearly is the VZ light tank. Let's attack, you're kidding me. I'm not going to be the first one, but enemy is pushing the left side, so I can push behind those on the right side, I guess. Nice. But for first light, I would really recommend going for uh, for Sheridan. Yeah, I can just take it. Well, <laughs> don't even have to. <laughs> but the game is won. You prefer Sheridan? Yeah, I said Sheridan is just way easier to play. But the better you get, the more reliability you need. And DPM, damage potential. Oh, awesome shot. <laughs> Sheridan requires you to be a little bit more passive. Like with the Sheridan and Batchet, both are rather passive by the style tanks. And yet with the Batchet, you are more effective if you have to get aggressive. Like you do have the option of just yoloing in and just being able to already put out some big clip like three times 350. That is 1050 damage on average, which is more than a 183, but with a mobility of like a bad shit, which is kind of crazy. You can just yolo behind the enemies, put out the clip, perma track the enemies, destroy a lot of modules also due to the multiple shots in a row. So, Batchet is just awesome in that sense there. If you want to get aggressive, then Batchet also on the T100LT will also do fine in that. Just sadly not quite having the DPM anymore. With the Batchet you just get a lot of damage in a very short amount of time only. Wait, what is it? Like 3 seconds in between the shells? 2.8 or so? So, you just have to peek out for 6 seconds and get 3 shots in. Three hours late again yeah uh, it's really getting late already but hey still farming mm. enemies I showed it's absolutely just perfect for spotting early on putting out some big shots at the start and then just seeing what you can do, running around, putting out some big shots. Makes it fairly easy to trade, since you're just always having higher alpha damage. You don't even need to think that much about where to go in, just do I have the higher damage per shot and you can trade. And it will theoretically also get you above the 50% already. Because you will always do more damage than the enemies. As long as you're just, just paying a little bit of attention to it still. <laughs> Good night, Danny. Usually I recommend just being a little bit more passive on the Sheridan. 
because you're not having the best accuracy. You need to aim in your shots really well, otherwise you're going to miss. Okay, with him being there, I want to just keep flanking, getting behind the enemies. Looks like we are going to have a nice opportunity of killing that guy. Or at least shooting him down before his teammates are arriving. I wonder if he has some backup. <gasps> yes. Ouch. Still fine. <laughs> nice. I'm playing AG only. <laughs> It would be nice to just kill the Sherwood and uh, he's still some he's still delivering some mobility to the enemies in the view range. Oh no. He did not even spot me. The other side is dead anyway, so we can just keep fighting over here. A nice roll, 6.45. And <laughs> he's dead as well, perfect. But I will still have to run away. I can still stay in this corner here. Maybe the enemies are coming, I can outspot and just put out a shot. And if they try to get me over here, I will still be able to run. It might be the case that the RV-45 is either getting to this bush or the other one just waiting for me though. Uh, but I think he gave up. That's most likely. So let's move in again. I can probably still run away even if he's coming. Ah. <laughs> HE fast. No. Nice. You wanna go for me, really? You don't want to. Alright. Hi, Barra. Yeah, Shodan's armor is another thing you mentioned there. Definitely, it's like the best armored light tank. Armor is not thick, but. Yeah, it does have a lot of space armor all the way around it. If you, I don't know if you've ever looked at the actual armor model without the space armor, it's really tiny in the middle. That shit has better spotting than Sheridan. Yeah, obviously, uh, it, of course, is also a good reason for the bad shit. And just that. You need to be capable of making use of your range in the first place if you're not really aware of where to spot and stuff like that. I don't think on the average level that you are just going to benefit from view range all too much. So the, sh the bad shit probably also, although it is definitely the best light tank at the moment, is unlikely to get nerfed too soon because I don't think that the average player will do all too great in it. Actually, it is. Uh, I don't have to guess on that. I've seen the statistics. Hey, my idea failed. Nice.
pretty bad that the AMX have to be went for the other side, or for the island. But look at this, the enemies don't have any TDs on the field. So I can actually be really brave and get over here, get all the way behind the enemies. There's no one from the TD position is going to shoot me, most likely. Yeah, peek at me. Oh no. Oh no. That is not good. That is not good at all. Oh, <laughs> okay, I survived, actually. But I don't really think that we are going to win this. Give me my gunner back, please. I will have to camp and play like a TD now. Oh nice, 140 is going to kill the 907. Very small reticle. I don't... I'm surprised that I actually hit, but still... Why does it have to be bounced? And no, 140 actually died? Nice. Very important kill shot. All of the enemies are one shots now. I am a one shot to KPZ definitely. I might get blind shot here, so I'm just waiting for a minute. Do have higher view range on all of them right now because of the crew skill of being the last one. No, mm. the 907 even died by jumping down the hill. So much about the reliability of the gun. <laughs> I could have aimed in longer though at the tanks there, at the KPZ. I was just a little bit afraid of getting blind shot. But I think I should have just spent another second or two just aiming in for the KPZ. We're putting in the IGE shots to maybe kill them. Man, if I hit the HE shots, I would have been in the 1v1 in the end, and I would have... I don't know if I would have had the higher view range, because of the crew skill. Might have been the case. Batshit, of course, does have the higher view range, but at the same time, if you're having crew skill of being last one alive, well, then you do get an extra bonus. That was very winnable. Oh, are they YOLOing here?
Okay. Now we cannot do too much here for now. I can hold. Maybe that's all that's needed. I wonder if he's still there. I guess so, since I get spotted. Oh. <laughs> Not nice. <laughs> I think I will just push. <laughs> the amount of bounces I get here. Having a good time. Oh yeah, the other side is also dead. <laughs> nice. Mm, I just got FE405, any tips? There you're asking something, man. You're asking for tips of the worst tank <laughs> at the moment, or one of the worst TDs out there. I can play it for you, though. Problem is with the FE405 that it is just really, really big. Absolutely huge. So, at the start, you want to be passive. And whenever you're moving, you always want to make sure you're having some kind of cover that is allowing you to hide your entire tank which is not easy to find because what I struggled with the most when I got this tank in at first is that most of the cover that I was used to taking was just not big enough to hide my tank Hi Nupus Actually I will go for the middle at the start I wish the seats were more spotting a little bit. Sadly, he isn't, and just YOLOing A. And I'm not a good spotter tank here. But hey, maybe I can have some crossfire there. With the lineup that the enemies are having, it's more likely of them all being on the medium side as well. But that shit is maybe going to spot something. If he was only moving. There we go. No. Let's stay up here. Sure. How many tanks can there be? Okay, he's it. I thought my teammates were fighting the enemies on the left side, and if there was something shooting me, like the shadow, then then that would be it. Maybe some medium still. <laughs> okay, suddenly five people are aiming at me. Where did they come from? <laughs> bad example. <laughs> really bad example for how to play this tank. But you could see what also just what the struggle of this tank is. You don't have gun elevation, you don't have good accuracy on a move. So, yeah, I, I might have had some nice opportunity there of shooting the AMX if my team might spotted him. But otherwise, I was just out of position there in, in that sense. 
I didn't want to spend an eternity there because I didn't have anything to shoot. Pushing on the right side, well, there could have still been some DD, so I rather, rather waited for the shit to spot there. Ah. Not too great. I will go for another AV game for you, but first, AV tank. Uh, let me quickly get some water. <laughs> one more proper battle in the Yes, you will get one. And that was awful. But FE405, to be fair, is also a tank that can be either highly effective or you're really struggling. So on average, you will still do fine with it. And doing damage is easy, but winning games is hard. There it gets to be really tricky. Since you do have a tank that is highly vulnerable and really huge, so whenever you're moving out, you will put yourself at a big risk. The best way of applying it is being very passive. But you know what it means to play passive? You are counting on the enemies to do the mistakes first. Well, and what if your teammates are actually getting aggressive? Then <laughs> you cannot do anything. Oh, I bounced him. <laughs> you could see that ricochet there. Oh. Thank you, that. Damage. Ah. We've yeah, that's not too great. Going to die. Well, ah. thank you. Okay, I'm actually still alive. <laughs> Interesting. We've damaged them. <laughs> hey, Chioni. Okay. Not too bad. I was a little bit lucky, but hey. I guess I did my part. What? Ah, okay. Ah. <laughs> Just a little bit lucky, of course. <laughs> Thanks to the Chieftain for 
keeping the pig like that. Ah, oh, man, it was just constantly staying there, sitting right in the oven. <laughs> I thought I will, I might just as well just farm some last damage. If I already die, then to most likely the 263. I was unlikely to have some good trades against the whole re, so I was trying to hide from him while still trying to put out some big shots into the other one. Okay. No? Bounce. Oh, yep. I thought there was maybe one tank in B, but no. Look at this, the whole team of the enemies is there. <laughs> and again, like one little mistake on this tank and you're getting punished so badly. Our team is actually on the other side. Let's run away to have at least somewhat of a safe position. Problem is, my tank is basically only effective if I can get close and put out some shots, like multiple shots, safely into the enemy. I'm just not having the accuracy to fight at a distance, especially not if they are having a lot of armor. I think they might be pushing my platoon might, so let's try to support over there. Go enemies. If they are not going in, then they will be going somewhere else, I guess. I would give it one. I just had all enemies off front at the start and couldn't do much. Then, if I was having anyone to the left side isolated, I would have pushed for him. But like this, I could not really get aggressive anywhere. Like, really, the best way to play the AV is either you are really camping and having the enemies coming at you, or you are just being able to play aggressive enough on some heavy, some heavy map so that you can just surprise the enemies by quickly peeking out and putting out a couple of shots, falling back into cover and reloading. That should be the standard auto a lot, auto lot of play style to keep in mind. Just stay safe, stay safe, stay safe, seek some target and then go like, okay, that one, I will just sneak up, get really close, make sure to hit all my shots, maybe take one and return, doesn't matter, you can put out three, four shots, put out tons of damage in a short amount of time. So next question. Yak E100 still grinding silver turn. Hey, hi Evert. Nice to see you back here. Uh Yak Silver grinding. It's still an awesome tank. It's maybe better than it has been not ever, but in a long time, definitely. It got buffed on the hit points, it got buffed on the armor some while ago. It also received the tanks in rounds. 
definitely is a big ass heavy now. <laughs> Pretty good. But still, yeah, it is a TD, and TDs are usually always team dependent. So, yes, uh, Kevin is signing there. What I recommend in Yak is side scraping. I just shoot some IG. Still does something. You can see even 400 damage. Cool. Ouch. I still get my low applied, okay. I'm kind of hidden from the left side, I hope, while still being held on to the front. There we go. Okay, I will actually move up. Ouch. Snapshot, side scraping. And I'm fine. Oh, no gun depression here. Sad. Let's pretend to look away, maybe. Yeah, my position is not too perfect here. Nah. <laughs> nice. Come on, please kill him. Uh, by the way, if you are interested in the Yaki 100, I did an entire stream with this tank. It was, I think, pretty good at like 80% uh, win rate solo even. But only, like, not too much damage. The damage is definitely also possible on this tank. We just need to be a little bit careful about your position and predict where the enemies are going to come at you because you're so slow that you are just often being left alone. Like in this situation, I could not keep following my teammates. I would have just gotten smacked into my side. So I try to stay close to my teammates if I can. But if the enemies are going to come to my back, then I have to turn early so that I face them and I can still side scrape, hold them up, play like a super heavy basically. Just that I can barely not I can barely push in with this tank. It's not a great tank for pushing in at all. But for the passive kind of gameplay, definitely. Let's try another one on the FE-405. I think the Yak is also one of the most played tanks at the moment still. But that is not because it is so good, but rather because it is just a lot of fun if you are... Yeah, it doesn't matter which level you are on, mostly for the rather inexperienced players. It is the most fun to pick, put out big shots. Like, that's what most players are actually playing the game for. Big boom. <laughs> so 183, E100, Yak E100. Those are the tanks that they are playing. So if you're still at that level, then I can highly recommend flying the Yak. I just just being the average player who's not interested in win rate or damage farming, just rather does not want to lose. So yeah, just 
be 100 is a great tank to play. You can platoon as well and just have some fun. Putting out big shots there. Okay, I guess enemies will come all to A, maybe? We'll see. <laughs> Guess that hurts. <laughs> yep. I did not want to stay too far on the right side, although that's usually my position when I expect enemies to be on C. But if I am too close on the right, then I will immediately get spotted whenever I'm shooting onto the mediums there. You know what, maybe I'm just going to push the STRV. I don't think the enemies will be pushing on the right side anymore after losing two tanks already. Ouch. Oh, my iPad's going to run out of battery very soon. Nice. Oh man, I missed the old gap here. I don't know. They removed the gap over here, but not on the other side. Okay, got the charger. I mean, not on, on the other spawn. There you can still shoot through the houses quite nicely. Ah, I cannot move out there. Okay. I guess I will just push in then. Game is one anyways. We've damaged them. We've damaged them. Enemy vehicle is destroyed. Enemy hit. This accuracy. It was a lot better when it still had the reticle calibration. That was a really a big benefit to this tank. You don't need the speed boost too much. But reticle calibration allowed it to really accurately put out four shots in a row. It was really making this tank strong. Also, at the start when the tank was released, it still had 460 alpha damage times three. And the speed boost was still stronger back then. The speed boost was nerfed by 40% actually. So back then it was, it, I was, at the start I was playing with the speed boost and the intra clip thingy like right now but with 460 alpha and stronger speed boost so i could really get aggressive and i could trade more easily was having to spend less time extending at the enemies uh yeah I, I did prefer that version definitely four shot version just takes too much time to reload and then uh, it's just man <laughs> not that nice to be honest Especially since the reticle calibration got removed, I don't really touch the tank anymore. Because it's really only good if you're being super passive. Otherwise, you're putting yourself at too much of a risk to reliably turn around the game. So for many people, it is actually one of the highest average damage tanks while still being one of the lowest win rate tanks. Okay, that's a good map for me. Very heavy. I think I will play middle road, a lane here. Not expecting too many enemies on the medium flank. Ah, he does a good spotting move. Must be a good player. Raising the gun mantlet like that to spot. So teammates could just kill that Sheridan easily. The 
have to be careful from the side there. Eh? Yeah. Not a fan of this. No. And the axe is likely going to kill me. Oh man. Yeah, too many enemies aiming at me here. That's a problem with TDs always. If you're getting too aggressive, you're just unlikely to have a way out anymore. You can get stuck quite easily. E100, hey, what's the one ride today? <laughs> I have this thingy for a reason. <laughs> Played mostly Platoon, a couple of solo games as well. Like, first 10, 15 games were solo and were not going well. Just move, man. You have all the hit points needed. <laughs> Look at him, just wasting his shots, wasting his hit points. And the RV is just easily peeking at him and putting out shots. If the 9 or 7 just moved forwards, he could have easily just killed the RV by now already. Oh, he's still doing so. Maybe not. Maybe. Oh, Loro. Look at him. Ah. <laughs> All he needed to do was move forwards and go for the safe shots. No, I tried to shoot beneath the corpse of the reactor. <laughs> I forward. No need to feel sorry. Still had a lot of people here on the stream today. It was a good session. So, what next? Your best TD you can possibly go for is this one at the moment, definitely. Defender saying favorite tank destroyer is E3 and E4. E4 has been pretty nice last update. This one's not that great anymore. E3 is also good, but definitely the VZ is the best one at the moment, followed by Beja XM66F. And only then I would say E3, although it's fairly similar to this one, just that the E3 is slightly weaker on top. A little bit stronger at the bottom. And VZ is just a little bit more reliable there. T68 very mobile has great camo. Yeah, for the more passive players, 268 is definitely also awesome. You can also get aggressive with it. It's a really great all-rounder. Better suited for some rather can be play some, but yeah, definitely 268 is also really strong at this point. They, they also did some nice changes to it. They buffed the hit points a little bit, increased the alpha damage, nerfed the armor sadly, and also gave it worse accuracy. But it's still pretty good. I can play 268 or E3 for you as well. Six games already today. Long stream, 420. For almost 20 minutes. My team is mostly going left. Oh nice. I'll just take this position here to hold the right side then. Hoping that my teammates will take care of the other side. And luckily I still have the VK-72 over there as well. I 
for no. No, I have a hill. Hmm. Hey. What? what? What are they doing? Nah. Too late. Sadly, I cannot spot the Yark, otherwise, I could shoot him nicely. I will die here. Can I maybe back off? Nope. But hey. That's not all too bad. Oh, I should be killing me right now. No! Ah! <laughs> 10 hit points. I'm doing fine. No issue at all. <laughs> But you also see, even though it's not all too perfect, still you can see why this tank is so freaking strong. It's really great at holding. And if you are in the right angle hiding your lower plight, then you are basically indestructible. The cupola is super small, you can see on the right top there. So yeah, I was at the big bait here, <laughs> all the way to the front of the team, enemy struggling to get me. No, not even struggling only, they were absolutely failing. Also due to the Kranwagen really being not the best player, same as, well, yeah, this, I think they were doing fine. Yeah, they were trying to avoid my teammates. Trace of a simp <laughs> subscribing. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, if anyone's still not subscribed right now, then uh, there's a little bit of a subscribe button beneath uh, the stream. So I would be happy to see you back on the next ones. Definitely. Uh, we're still running a giveaway at the moment, just to let you know. Um, for that, you might just check the last video out. Uh, where there is like happy face of myself. <laughs> There are all the information and there's all the information about the giveaway. Actually, two giveaways running at the moment. Uh, da, 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 wait, what was I was I going to apply? 268. E3 gameplay would have been just the same as the 113 GFT. I don't know if I would have also survived. Maybe I would have had slightly lower chances of surviving maybe What other tanks are you enjoying at the moment? Oh, I may need some help with. VZ-113 heavy, no armor, no mobility, not the best gun. Actually, VZ-113 is pretty fast and does have a fairly good, um, uh, good turret. That can definitely be used. Okay, we're all going left. Yeah, the gun isn't accurate, but you have really high DPM. 
So yeah, I cannot say that it is the easiest tank to play, but still it is very capable. You just need to make sure that you stay high down and that you get close enough to the enemies to put out the DPM. And make good use of that. Looks like enemies are going for A. I can move up and maybe aim for their spawn if my teammates are pushing forwards over there. Nah. <laughs> okay, I did not get spotted. Stay. No. Where's the RV45 now? I will actually go in and kill him. He cannot run away down there. Oh, bro, dude, what the hell? Never mind, I can still go in and kill him. That's the FE405 shooting me. No, 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 it's not. What is it then? Nice. And big cut off. That was shooting me for 400. This one? But yeah, this tank has some big punch. Definitely. Let's see if I can IG him somewhere. Yes! Ah, bad low roll, but still. <laughs> the strength of the 268 is really, like, you are great at camping, but if you have to get aggressive, then you're pretty fast to do so. But you're still having good armor to some degree. You can still angle, wriggle, do stuff. Avoid getting hit. And the other one's camping on A. He was already shooting me earlier. Okay. Not getting spotted yet. What? Where is he? Ah! Actually there. Oh my! I still hit this one. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> okay, it was surprising that the LT didn't spot him earlier. Time. Same gun of 113 on VZ121 and the VZ is great. Well, you know why that is a case? Because the VZ flies against the medium tanks. So if you throw the VZ113 against medium tanks, which you should usually do, then it will also be really strong. Uh, I, although I would not always do so, it's it's also strong against heavy tanks. Just spam heat. <laughs> oh, okay. Stiff neck after four hours of streaming. How did the shot even connect? Well, it still hit the lower plate somehow. Was, yeah, lucky. <laughs> no doubt about that. <laughs> I don't know how am I even still streaming at this time, 2 hour, uh, two a.m. and just, oh yeah. And also I don't know how, well, still people are watching. So 40 people almost here. <laughs> Although it's the middle of the night, probably a lot of Americans on the chat right now. Yeah, it's okay, it's also Saturday evening, so. I did recently have a closer look at the statistics only yesterday. Actually, there are about 30% of the viewers here are American. 10% British and another 10% German and the others coming from everywhere. 
What are you saying? This thing is not mobile. Look at how fast it is. Compare that to the other heavies there. The gun needs some aim time. the beacon we swap please give me some place here yeah. because I can only get the gun down on the left side he can peek on the right as well gun depression definitely is a problem here uh, the accuracy if you're not able to aim in ah yeah that's uh Oh, re Buster. Dude. No. Oh, what a fail. Enemies playing super passively, and I'm just running straight into their guns. Thought I had time to just fall back into cover without taking another shot from Hori, but mm, maybe not. Campy enemies. I cannot fight them like that. 113 is also a tank that needs to be rather aggressive. Basically, you're only strong if you are close to the enemy, so you can make use of the DPM. Oh. oh, what? How did that happen? Why are you in a river? Oh no. Suddenly they are getting aggressive. The whole team is failing to cover them or to hold them up because EK90 is in a bad spot. Ice 4 is in a horrible spot. And I also accidentally dropped down. Actually, it was saving my life that I dropped down there. That did not happen. This damn guy. Nah, mm. Betcher is a good player. And I absolutely misplayed here. I ran into all the campus. I mean, I knew that the whole re was in that position. I just expected to maybe not take any hit. <laughs> expected to have the time to not use any repair kit, fall back there. Hmm. Took 1.2k damage for absolutely no reason. The bats are hidden there as well, I believe. I will go for another game on 113 though. Trust me, it's a good one. <laughs> Just need to get aggressive. And then, yeah. I mean, you need to have the option of getting aggressive. Otherwise, you need to just be careful and side scrape. I got held on some stuff that I tried to do, was, but I was just getting greedy. Was just, yeah. I was still putting on 2.2k, maybe top damage, almost. Hey, I get downvoted by the E4. Great. Hi, Peter. Base Fisher. Yup, American. Audi. <laughs> And for the Americans, it's also still a bit earlier, like afternoon, early evening right now.
I don't know. Maybe, maybe is it because uh, you're finding me through historical fatness as well there? I know that a lot of people are watching me, are watching him as well. How did you, maybe let me know in the chat right now, I would be actually interested. Uh, how did you find my channel? Or who were you watching before that so that you turn out that you got like that you uh, found me then on YouTube? Often I can see that, like when someone's watching X video, then I can see that they are coming from that video to my video over. Okay, enemies are all on the heavy side, surprisingly. I'm struggling with the long nose that this tank has. I would like to get more aggressive without putting myself at risk. I would rather not stay in the back, okay. I don't want to get pushed from behind, that's why I wanted to move forward. I will struggle with the gun depression here a little bit. But it's kind of fine. I'm actually having a good time on this game. Oh, hey, you got smacked. Again, I was not really in a position that was really strong for the VZ. Somehow it worked out, but at the same time, like the VZ needs to have the option of getting hull down right in front of some enemy, and then you can really put out a DPM. If you don't have that option because you struggle with a gun depression or so, then it's not perfect because the VZ is not a good hull down tank, like using gun depression, like like I just did here. Oh, what's I just noticed IS-8 has much more penetration using Calibrated than IS-7. I think that's because... Wait, is it still the case? But in the past it has been the case that the IS-7 was using APCR on Premier Ammunition. And IS-8 has Heat on Premier Ammunition, I believe. And Heat benefits more from Calibrated shells than IP or APCR. Found my channel from Blitz Tournament streams. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm happy about this because it means that people are not just watching for rewards. <laughs> and actually pay attention. Okay. 
Let's keep going and see if I can maybe sidescribe to the front of the Fosh. Cannot go kill the FE45 because the 183 is to the side, so. So, let's fall back. No! Gun depression. Are you kidding me? Ah, okay, finally. But the Shodan's still going to die there. And I'm not really effective. Enemies are just avoiding me or killing my teammates. And I'm not happy about this. Question is where the 183 is right now. There he is, okay. That's good to know. Let's go in over here. Oh, the concept is misplaying. <laughs> nice try. Yeah, really, this tank is not easy to buy. I can only admit that. But still, it's one of the most capable tanks in the game at the moment. But it needs you to be on a higher level already. Maybe. Or maybe it just needs some practice. Ice 8 has Ice 4 level of pen. I think it's actually the same gun as the Ice 4. That's why. As far as I remember. Among the Russian tanks and also the uh, Germans and American tanks, there are a lot of shared modules. Which is really helpful if you're starting with the game and grinding lines still. Then at this point, you can just grind one line and just have a lot of modules researched that is uh, then helping you on the next grind. Even though there are other strong lines out there, like Japanese tanks are super strong and so. But at the start, it really makes sense to go for, for the Soviets, for the Germans and for the American tanks, because there's so many shared modules. Will save you a lot of games if the, if the goal is just grinding up real quick. <laughs> Martin might have sent you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, he sent a couple of people over already. No. Uh, let's keep going over here. Let's go up for now. Let's see what I can do then. My goal is shooting that T62 without yoloing in straight away. There might still be some campers back there. I don't think so. But usually best to just keep the high ground, allowing it to relocate quite quickly if needed. Where am I going to go? It wouldn't make sense for the enemies to push our 183. But he's AFK, right? Oh, he's not AFK. Oh, hello. 
Uh, I think I'll actually go for the 113 GFT there. Avoid the Minotaur for now because he has horrible DPM anyways. That's the way to go on the 113. Just getting close, making use of the DPM. Whoa. Come on. <laughs> nice one. Like this, you're also well armored, but only if you manage to get into some high down positions, which is not always too easy. <laughs> nice accuracy. <laughs> what is he using vertical calibration for now? <laughs> mm, nope. Unless if he crosses over there, no. E30 being same tank as C34 only guns different, yeah. It just uh, do you don't grind the T34, so if you buy the T34, you won't have the modules of T30. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh. Enemy downvoted me, I guess. No, it's the gorilla, actually. Uh, why? Do I have to understand this? I just got a let off some steam right now, <laughs> getting hot under these headphones here. Especially when you're just streaming for five hours, like I am right now. Dang, getting some hot ears. <laughs> Need some ventilation system in there. <laughs> Do you maybe want to see some other tanks still? I would be open to some requests. Tier 10, please. Not going to make my platoon might also go low tier. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will just play the medium hunter. Often 113, if you don't know what to do, really, then. Mostly the best thing to do is just go against the medium tanks. It will be awesome there. I am max 50B. I have to nerve Visa misses a lot of shots. Honestly, I thought so at the start as well. I mean, I was looking at the patch notes and thought it would be quite inaccurate, but I was surprised that it actually did not get more or uh, less accurate there. Oh no. HE? Why? Come out. <laughs> Why are they all shooting HEs? Am I going to get smacked by 183 for peak here? Let's not risk it. Dominator got, uh, yeah, got bamboozled. Not the most dominant game ever. No, please. Nice. I'm so afraid of the one I just do. No, he's on the other side. Let's go then. 
Porsche is still alive though. Let's not forget about him. Might have run away. Almost. Truck shot. That's a job. Perfect. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's why. What's a good example of why? Throwing heavies onto the medium side is often just already doing the job at getting you to like 60% win rate and above without having to put any thought into it just because the heavy tank is stronger than the medium tanks. Object 140. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, uh, we've got 50p. Hi Henchman, uh, watching Minions, Lobby Nalisa, is sharing Battlegrounds till the morning. <laughs> I don't understand any Ukrainian, I don't know, is he speaking Ukrainian or Russian on the streams? But uh, unfortunately I don't understand him, so I haven't watched any of the streams or just tuned in for a few minutes only. I've been watching a lot of Ufpunjaj and Nick Ace though among the Russian-speaking streamers. They have taught me how to play, basically. Or until I, I basically learned on my own, just by analyzing my own games and just looking into how I could have done better every time. Up to 67% and 2.7k, 2.6k average damage. Uh, yeah, also by learning from other players and then I was actively trying to reach some higher levels. I, f I felt like I was getting stuck there, couldn't really get better and I wanted to get a lot better stuff. So what I did was just asking around for some better players to platoon with me. And actually learned on learned a lot of uh, gameplay then from, from others and kept on analyzing. That's how the whole YouTube channel actually started, because it was just a Discord server at the start. Because a friend of mine and me, we were always platooning for a long time, and after that we were looking at the best replays that we've had. And just being like, ah, you just messed up there, and oh, that was a nice move, and just pointing out each other's mistakes. And because of that analysis, we, we still both learned a lot of gameplay about the game, and just also thought, man, what about just doing this together with others because there are very few who are actually interested in replay analysis and all that stuff. So what we did was create a Discord server for that, try to just connect these people from each clan, the very few people from each clan around the world, just try to advertise the Discord server everywhere. Try to find some small people interested in that. A lot of people came. It was more of a struggle to really get people active there <laughs> and do their analysis as well. So eventually it ended up rather in me being the one doing analysis and also in the end then getting to stream. Nah. It's too risky here. Often it works out to just put out a couple of shots at the start here. Yeah. But I don't want to risk getting it too many times, especially by the TDs. I'm kind of surprised that they were not shooting me yet here. So what I can do instead is just sneak up over here. Ah, that's the FE4-5. He's sitting in the corner already. Okay. <gasps> no. Just pretending to peek right now, although I'm not reloaded, but he doesn't know about that. 
because he keeps writing. It allows me to get the reload actually. That's what I waited for. Oh my gosh. I will die to that guy, probably. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, kill him. Nice. Thank you. Map that you might die, might die for this. Yeah, 50 b requires some really, really careful gameplay. <laughs> Again, just always gotta keep in mind, can you peek safely and put out a couple of shots without taking any shots in return? If not, relocate, try to surprise the enemies from some different angle. Mostly that for me means like flanking to the middle and shooting into the sides then. Maybe I even start in the middle in the first place. I was, to be honest, I was lucky at the start that the FE405 was not looking at me yet. I should have rather gone for B for a safer move there. Uh, sometimes I still try getting aggressive like that, but it might easily end up in here just doing some bad stuff. <laughs> or rather just taking a lot of shots in return without putting out too many. Better have some high cover, some big obstacles like some houses or so that can cover your entire tank so you can reload, put out a couple of shots and go in again or reload again and keep repeating the process. Hiding, reloading, putting out multiple shots. The 140 next, just someone. I could read your comment already. Use Google Trends like, keep up on chat. Well, I've tried using the auto translate of the. <laughs> of the subtitles, but that only works when you're not watching live for open charts, but it's very often horribly inaccurate. Standard move to win this map in the easiest way, pushing the left side out here. Yeah. It's so easy. Although it doesn't always work if your teammates are just sleeping, but still. Best way to win this is just killing anyone over here. He's even yellowing into me. Dude, you're not going to get away with that. <laughs> Absolutely not. But Grilla is fast. Camo is beautiful, you're saying? Yeah. I loved it as well. It's the best fantasy camo out there. It's so cool. It's kind of realistic in, in a little bit of a way. I don't know. It's not really realistic. But on first sight, it, it, it might just be perceived as being realistic. Although it is not being the case. Good. No, no. What? Ah, oh, Angie. Shot flew too, uh, too high. You can actually IG that lower plate there. I still have a shot, Minotaur is still reloading. Nice. Hey, scanner slow. Good evening. How are you doing? 
One thing I really love about the i7 is just look at the side there. Look at the arm, the chicken arm. Do it again. Yeah, scratch it, scratch it real good. <laughs> I love this. Uh, 140 was next. One of the hardest tanks to apply at the moment. For me, it works out in platoon solo, not so much because it's good for pushes, horrible for just trading. Mm. Ah, Bird of Michigan was leaving, probably gone already, otherwise, goodbye. That else tank, what else tank has a bit of a combo? I don't know if that's a question. Enchman, I don't think Wargaming is going to extend maps for builds anytime soon. Simply because, you know, they would have to rework all the maps and it would also mean that every device would have to be more capable. And I think instead of making larger maps it would be way easier or way more beneficial for the game to just make the graphics look better so if you were to decide whether you want the graphics or map size what would you go for i would go for graphics I don't like this. I don't like this. But hey, I'm out. I'm safe for the moment. And it would be awesome if we could just push in here, but it needs some team mice to do so as well. Oh no. No! Ah, good job, I7, turning around. Um, yeah, <laughs> not the best move ever. It felt like I was just pressured too much from behind to really run away. Could have maybe just went to the outer side there to play more passively. But like, ah, that's a little bit of an opportunity of just going in, killing that 183, hiding behind the house. Having some crossfire on the enemies if they are getting pushed onto by my teammates. So we could potentially win this side easily, but hey. I will go for another one for the game. Let's check my teammate out, racing. It doesn't look good for us. So what, what maps, uh, what tanks have beautiful camos? I do mostly like the realistic looking camos. And the tanks that come to my mind there. Streetswagen Koning, I think it's called. Um, then the KPZ-50T, just have two legendary camos, but one of them only is really nice in my opinion. With these uh, attachments there basically. Object 777, like dark, cool looking, like some bad mobile, bad car. How's it called in English? In German, it's bad mobile. So bad mobile. I don't, must be bad car, bad model. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, Object 777. Looks great. Also, same attachments as the KPZ-50T with these things to the front. I don't even know what those are, like shell reflectors, kind of. Some other tanks do have some reactive armor on top there. Like these boxes that are just, yeah, they would theoretically explode in real life then if some shell was flying onto them. Hmm... 
Uh oh. It's still, still somewhat runnable, although really not likely. If the object 7 7 just gets pushed. Nice. Finally. Yeah, we're winning this one. Just keep hiding. Oh no, dude. What the hell? Nice. I did not expect us to win this one. I mean, we can still lose potentially, but at this point it's more than unlikely. Ah, there we got a object actually. Look at this camo. What other cool camos do we have? Uh, object 140 also has a great camo, like the legendary camo. Very clean design, I love it. I also don't camels like this one. <laughs> the Jupiter camel, also great. Let's go for another one. And then M60. And just to say it again, if you are still interested in some giveaway, getting some gold and some tier 10 tank and then make sure to just join the uh, uh not just look at the look at the video that i recently posted yeah just the last video on the channel right now give a race to running for for tomorrow so yeah Scanner slow 10 super chatted 2 euros. Keep hey. it up less than 3. <laughs> Thank you, man. Ah. Actually, I don't need to flank around. It doesn't have a full clip anymore, right? So I can just go kill him. Yep. Oh, bet it. You don't have to drive out 50 meters. Ah, of course not. So to succeed. Team, go please. Yeah, I know that there are others coming. I would have rather just help my teammates out a little bit. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We can go in here. I'm a 140. I cannot really <laughs> play frontally against the enemies too well. You just sit there. The best way is to get behind them. But for that, of course, you need to get into a position where it actually does work. like in last game. For trading this tank is just horrible. Low alpha damage and just bad armor as well. So it's really not an easy tank to play. But if you are able to somehow get behind someone, man, you're having a great time then. 
TV Pro also has great camera again. Waiting for a new realistic camera for us to be, yeah. I uh, mean, as well. I actually, yeah, Wargaming mean, does currently do release a lot of fantasy cameras and realistic ones. Sometimes they're going for like two realistic cameras on one tank, and it's, it's weird. I think they should just go for a system like just one fantasy camera, one realistic camera for each tier 10 tank, and go lower on the tiers as well then. It wouldn't make the most sense in my opinion, because there are, of course, the fantasy camo lovers out there. I cannot count myself among them. I do get when others are flying them. I do get when people are hating them as well. <laughs> because some people are really into the realistic aspects of the game. Maybe it would be nice if there was some switch to just turn off any fantasy camos completely. But hey, we're also having so many unrealistic camos already, like this one as well, of course. And the whole game is not really realistic, surely it isn't. Please, team, move. Don't keep aiming at those mediums there. Move. Can I maybe go over here? I don't think so, no. I think I will regret this. Yeah, I do so. I absolutely regret this. I could have run away completely, but I was like, okay, my platoon mate is still here in this position. Maybe I can just crossfire the other spot. I, I usually, like, I've not, I've not been in that position in an eternity. <laughs> I know that it may sometimes work, but yeah, if you've got all your heavies camping here, then it's mostly lost anyways. As long as you keep playing for the seaside. You can play for the other side, of course. Um, yeah, so, M60. Speaking about camos, there's also some nice camos here. Not this one. Three legendary camos already on that curve tank. And this one has two. Actually, this is not even a gamma. Best camo is on 60TP. Yes, that's also phenomenal. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just quickly jump over there. Also, it doesn't have all the attachments. <laughs> like, you do have, like, everything on there. <laughs> you have the grenade thrower, or what is it? I think it's grenade thrower. Machine gun, and I actually went for another piece of equipment, another machine gun. But I'm going to play for M60. What other tanks do you still need a good legendary camo? T95 E6. My favorite tank, or one of my favorite tanks. It currently only has this crappy fantasy camo, you know, it's the worst camo ever. With a piranha on top there. Uh, yeah, it's super colorful and 
What the hell? It looks like subway surface. <laughs> Is it really a rocket shooter on a 60p as well? On this one it is a rocket thrower, but on 60p, yeah. Something like this, yeah. I was I was thinking of something like how's it called mortar? I don't know the, the name now. Oh Gotcha. Okay. Okay, 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 let's not peek too far. Risky here for me. Let's cross over to help my platoon might. Enemies aren't sleeping. They're doing a good job here actually. I think I should rather try going on the left side, maybe shooting T-57 right now. Or just flanking around here. Ah, for real! T Sneaky. It's kind of weird what I'm doing right now. Just going all the way through the enemies, basically. Okay, he's already looking at me. Might be at my teammates, actually. No. Oof. A weird move through the middle. <laughs> Hi, Eisen. Mm. Let me quickly look it up. The word that I was looking for. Now basically, like, yeah, mortar. Grenade thrower, basically. I don't know if it is the case that it is some that kind of thing on, on 60p, but I'm just having in mind that the tanks that we are having in this game are basically only developed in the 50s, so. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, those are like until World War II and just some blueprints from that area. Do you actually know why that is being the case? Because... Everything beyond that is just secret, like the unknown blueprints, public, go there. Because often for the tanks that were released later on, they are very similar to the World War II tanks. Like look at the Russians still producing like, T not T-62A exactly, but some tanks that are basically the same thing, just reworked in another way. And Wargaming always try to keep up the realism, so they, they base their tanks on the blueprints that were available. Enemy is 
Okay. He's doing a good job. Can I trade in my turret like that two times in a row? It's not like this tank was not having any armor at all. Okay, platoon might is going in. Oh my gosh. Completely missed that. Nice, but I'm fine. But I'm not going to peek like that again. <laughs> not with the E3 looking at me. Uh, can I go for anyone else though, or is it just not working out? I think not. Yeah. Shot. Actually, M60 is lovely. Great accuracy, great DPM, great gun depression. It's a really nice tank. I still don't play too much because it's like it's really large and just uh, you cannot really hide too well in many places. And sometimes it gets to be annoying if you're getting penetrated into the cupola all the time. Yes, that's true. Goodbye, budget. <laughs> Thanks for taking the hit. Good. Historically legendary camera's ISU 152. Man, doesn't it have the crane on top? Uh, like looking basically like some like some slap from from Santa. <laughs> the same view range just want what I mean I don't care about view range to be honest I, I don't know for sure but mediums all have basically the same view range makes no difference in the play style five hour stream <laughs> yeah five hour 24 minutes right now and yeah finally no image making spec finally you can farm damage and win right again in a skill-based matchmaking, I would have really, really struggled with this kind of length of stream. Yeah, I did actually go for some kind of streams like that, in Platoon especially, for that length as well. But they were really exhausting. I needed to focus so hard and still didn't really win. And that's like mentally exhausting, play style, and also emotionally exhausting because there's so much frustration. <laughs> but yeah... Now it's just a lot more relaxed. I, I don't have to try hard and still get a decent amount of wins. Like 80% is still very much doable, even if I'm already tired. I don't know exactly the platoon win rate of that. Maybe something like 83. Ah! into the turret in the front. What the hell, guys? Why are you going for the medium side with an IMX on 4 you're not planning on moving at all? Like, the enemies are also playing really weirdly, to be honest here. Look at this. We've got an E6 YOLOing the medium side, but the mediums are YOLOing the heavy side. Uh, well, I will just also get over there and try to kill the FE-42 and the two Ds. Hmm. The gun about the farm, our accuracy will suffer. Penetration! Oh, 
damage. Not good. By the way, in case you didn't know, M60 can actually side scrape. <laughs> one of the few tanks that can. One of the few mediums. Ooh. No, what? Man, I was just wanting to get the, uh, the track shot in, potentially, to help my team, my out. Oh no. This is not good. What the hell? Why did he YOLO in? I hope the RV is pushing me. Now I only need to avoid the E3. I think it will work out. Possible to win, definitely. I think it was a three shot, but I'm a three shot as well. But he has faster reload time. With a higher view range as well. Uh, I don't know. I don't like this. Don't really want to move into the open and then. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 that was lucky. <laughs> uh, and I was not even aiming in properly on the last shot. Super risky. I mean, I could have hit the gun mandler though, so. <laughs> I really did not expect him to not move and then move. I thought he was actually flanking around behind me. Uh, okay. Yet I still somewhat didn't want to stay. I wanted to seek out for some better position. And a better position for mediums are just high on positions on the, in the, on the medium side there. Where you can take some pushes and so on. Man, ah, that was close. I want to you know, see Vickers, guys. So, uh, Vickers is not a good tank at the moment. I can tell you already. Still has some nice accuracy. Uh, not that well, actually. But the low alpha damage is really... Making it have a rough time. Only thing I miss is in the for next comp season. Yeah, but, <laughs> but it will come for sure. Shouldn't take too much longer, right? I think it's usually like a lot of weeks into the into the update, but there should also be some meta shift or so, I guess. Next update again, because this update, nothing happened. So probably in two weeks or so, we have an announcement for the next season then, and then we'll take place in three weeks or so, or four weeks. Vickers has a new camo as well, yeah. 
Also rather fantasy camo, right? I'm dead. As dead as I could be. I could have actually stayed on top there. I mean, usually that's what I do, stay in a position that my platoon might it's in and then circle around here. I don't know, felt like that was not going to work out in this situation with the batshit being there. Constantly spotting me. I would have expected more to be behind the batshit still. Did not really make sense to me that the batshit was there on his own. I mean, of course, it wasn't bad. It was a good move by him. He's also a good player, I think. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Enemies all yoloing one side. Come on, just blind shoot with AG. That was an AP. I don't know why Wargaming nerf because it was way too strong before. I, I mean, it was not. It was not really OP before it got nerfed. It was already nerfed a lot. But you know, you've got to understand that Wargaming is not nerfing tanks or buffing tanks in order to make them balanced. It's never the goal. They are nerfing tanks and buffing tanks because they want something else to be strong. They want to introduce a meta so everyone starts grinding new tanks and starts playing new tanks and everyone gets a bit more excited about trying out new stuff again. Like for the old players it's just Taking out some other some old tanks for another ride, which they have just not played for a long time. Like for me, the Vickers at the moment, it's just not being played at all because it's simply not good enough. But before that, I was spamming and I was playing it over and over again. I loved it. Now it's just too bad to really play it. And just the same thing is for the new players. They are not grinding the Vickers at the moment because no one will tell them to grind the Vickers because it's a bad tank. So they will grind something else. But after a while then, they have their tanks and they, they keep flying their tanks and then Wargaming decides to just buff the Vickers again and so everyone will have some fun grinding new lines or just getting back to the old tanks and just keeping things interesting. So I do fully understand why Wargaming is doing this from a business perspective and at the same time from a player perspective, I have nothing against that. Wait, new come on because Ah yeah. Like like the Streetswagen come on. But it looks a little bit Rexy, like it's kind of weird. A little bit cartoony. And this camo is more sports car. <laughs> Let's try the Vickers again. Man, something I'm kind of sad about on the Vickers is that it's actually a great tank, or has been a great tank for the HE. With the low alpha damage, it's barely worth it to shoot HE. It's dull more damage than with the AP, but you're just not having enough of an impact to really have, like, have it worth the extra aim time, feels like. I don't know, it's not really like it was nerfed too much there. 
should be the same as before. The DPM is better, but yeah. Before that, it was rather a tank that was being played for. On one side, the alpha damage and the DPM as well. Now it's just a tank that you can only play for the DPM, but it doesn't have a great DPM. And I'm just... Do I actually have the option of just doing this move? Kind of. Two fifty. Shooting the enemies with my tier eight gun. <laughs> so let's try running away. Maybe I can do so in a safe way. I mean, at the moment I'm unspotted. Problem with the low alpha is also like if you are just not able to shoot multiple shots in a row, then you have to just get away with just shooting once and then 310 is really nothing. Hmm. Oh, 300 alpha damage? What is it? 300, 310? Low, definitely. I think it's 300. Double bush, don't get spotted like this. Nice. Nice. Actually, I even wish the Vickers was a bit more accurate for this low alpha damage, like the 140. Because we really need to hit a lot of shots. Okay, let's spot our spawn. Mm, there is a heavy tank right there, E100. I'm not a one shot, nice. And he also just shot. Shouldn't have any rub kits either, so. Yep. yep. <laughs> okay, that game was actually still pretty good. Lost a lot of hit points early on, but still just gotta sit back down in that situation, farm a little bit before going back in again when having the option. Then it works out as well. Yeah, because with the armor and just HE was definitely, it was awesome to play. Uh, but there was no question that it was just broken. There was no reason to play the FE42 or any other tank really. And then also the, the highest view range in the game, I don't know why that was done. <laughs> Following my own argumentation earlier, yeah, they just wanted to make the Vickers OP and wanted everyone to play it and want the tank. Yes. But still, I think yeah, that was overdone with the view range. They could have just nerfed the view range a little bit or could have just not even released it with that much of a view range in the first place. Would have been better in my opinion. Then you would still have the, the like the option of just using Sheridan or Vickers or Batchet for view range while the Vickers was having TPM, HE, stuff like that. Let's go. If the game was meant to be perfect in balance, but again, it's not meant to be the case. I'm 
even low. Always funny to spot the heavies there without being able to shoot them. Because my cupola is spotting his cupola. Like the highest part of the tank. Oh, it might be the case that the I-7 doesn't have much backup here. I mean, yeah, he does have backup, but... Oh, dude. Unnecessary to take that shot. But hey, we got a kill. Come on, peek again. No. I'm not going to pick up the LV since he can just HE or hash my turret. Come on, Kran, you have the armor. On if I'm nah, that's a nice shot. Go in, kill this guy. Oh, last ones. Bounce. No. Ah. Hey, Rami, Rami, Rami. I guess Rami. Rami, Rami Nidyam. Good evening. Oh, good night. <laughs> it's very early for me. 3.30 in the morning already. <laughs> After almost six hours of streaming. <laughs> I think it was a collection of the best thing from other tanks like E50, E50. E50? <laughs> Wasn't really having that much armor. But yeah, every 42, Leo, Batchet. Definitely. Probably it would be enough to just say Leo version of the every 42. As a light tank, making it even stronger. Just uh, keep that in mind, light tanks. The only, the only reason for light tanks to be classified as light tanks is that they are having camo values on the move that are the same as when they are standing. Well, it should be usually a lot higher there, so yeah, it's just, uh, that's the only difference. Mediums have some higher camo value, uh, some lower camo value on the move there. So a lot of people are always saying like this tank, like Leo should be a light tank or so and it doesn't make a lot of sense because it would buff the tank eventually or effectively. Light tank only means you're having some special mechanic to it, not any characteristics. Well, of course those are mostly light tanks, yes. But still, <laughs> you can see my point now. Man, I cannot sit anymore. I have been sitting for too long. <laughs> I'm gonna do a long marathon of what be. Yes, absolutely. Non stop platooning. Maybe I can YOLO up the hill on this game. I think I will go for it. Nice. Enemy armor is damaged. Penetration. 
that worked out really well. No! Ah. Yeah, with the Vickers I do have some nice gun depression and a bit of armor here so Definitely helps. Ah, uh, what was that try? Please? Hello? What the hell? get spotted. Anyways, I will try again. He doesn't have the gun elevation to shoot me right now. Not looking at me. What? Mouse. Let's try getting to the wall here to proxy spot E3 maybe. Try heavy tanks, yeah. Uh, Rami, what do you want to see? Of course, I need some more water. Okay, interesting choice. T57. Heavy. There it is. I think right now I'm actually playing with calibrated shells, yep. I've been playing without it mostly. Nowadays, other opponents get better armor and T57 gets slower. Did it really get slower? I don't know. But I want to, it, it did get some worse DPM, yeah, especially relative to the other tanks. So I want to make sure I hit my shots, definitely. On auto loaders, it should always be the rule to just try to have 100% hit ratio, although you're realistically not getting much above 90%, but still, you want to hit every single shot that penetrated. Because you cannot win on DPM or anything else, or by holding enemies. Got some guys in spawn. Okay, enemies all coming. But I think we are well set up for that. Let's try crossing over without taking any damage, hopefully. Okay. Yeah, stop shitting your pants. What are you just looking at there? Camping TDs there. Enemy 
I was well aware of them, so they just kept the rocket between me and those guys. So, got tons of enemies in the front of me, so I will have to be careful about it. So, you have the big gun, yes. I think we're doing well here. Enemies are pushed back quite far. We can easily kill the Fosh. No, what? Okay. Thanks for that shot. What's the best tank in the game? There is not really like the best tank. I think you gotta get away from that thought a little bit. Luckily actually, because the game is pretty diverse when it comes to the tanks. There are many different options. And there are a couple of tanks which are really strong at any given time, but those change over time. And also at the same time there are different tanks for each kind of player. And that's obviously not the, the answer that you wanted to hear, but for me, as one of one of those players who learned the game, like, like just look at this, I've, I've got all the games possible, basically. <laughs> I reached the highest level, or very, very close to it. So, for me, I like some really fast tanks that have very little armor, but they do have great DPM, great damage output. So I like the AMX 30B, the medium tank. Uh, the T95 E6, the Batchet 25T, among the TDs. I, uh, TDs are at the moment not really too strong. In the past, I like the Gorilla, it could also play quite aggressively. Nowadays, XM66F. Yeah, three, three collector tanks on the list there. Um, but if you are on a lower level, then you will like more armor. Then it will be an IS7 that is much better, for example. It will be T125 if you're still above like 60% something. Uh, if you, otherwise, like the lower your level, the better armor is. And the less you can make use of mobility at all. No. Oh. That was just bad. I don't know, am I having anyone to shoot him? I have to drop down, oh crap. I thought I could just taunt on one shot for my platoon might and then clip the carro. Thought the T57 was distracted. Well, I kind of messed up a little bit by going here as I'm not having any significant backup. Uh, but it also just taking that many hits there was not good at all but hey maybe i can get behind the s -conk. supporting my platoon might no oh, man but my teammates are also doing a good job on the other side, and enemies will not get me all too easily here. Well, at the same time, I'm still spotting the enemies above me, so the Yak can shoot here. Okay, I'm dead. Noise. That's fine with me. No, Yak died. We can still win, but my teammates wouldn't need to push up the bridges. Especially as Kong could just go high down here and move up the bridge. We have caps, we have better map control as well. I think it should be possible. Don't tell me you're going for A. <laughs> okay, no. He will die like that though.
Eskong. He's throwing the game right now. He really needs to fight, otherwise there's no chance of winning. He's the only one with armor and hit points. Hi. I would have bought object 9 and 7 fast and have armor with that defense. It doesn't have armor. 9 and 7 can really not be considered as armor. Armor is tanked. <coughs> yeah, Eskong, now you're fighting. He's even going in. He could even just sit on top of the bridge and have a great position to shoot the enemies. 9 and 7 again, it's, it just have. A lot of mobility and it's great for experienced players, but it's not a good tank for beginners because it has really no, not much armor and low alpha damage. Uh, what is a good armored tank? Like what? I7, I think um, for beginners E100 is also one of the easiest tanks to play. I7 afterwards, then I would go for T110E5 or FE215B. Those are not necessarily the best tanks that you could possibly get. Right. Yeah, I, I think I hope I, I I hope you get the point, but no, <laughs> really depends a lot on the player. Still, there are better tanks and worse worse tanks at any given time. What I can tell you, wait, let's let's open a website here that just gives all the stats. The blitz has. Year 10 and go for highest relative win rate. I can also share the link with you. Blitz analysis. If you're a little bit nerdy and just interested in stats like that, always a great website. But top 20 win rate, top 20 tanks by relative win rate, meaning how much better than the average tank is it? And the VZ113 GFT, best one, Contra Caro, Contra Caro Minotauro, second best tank in the game. For me, it's not a good tank. For me personally, it's just way too slow to be good. But still, for most people, it will be great. Mouse T110 E3, IS7, Type 71, uh, closely following. What the hell are you doing there? Ah, come on! Bouncing in the turret. This guy is doing such a horrible move there. Ah! Game is so weird. Okay, okay. You will have to win the left side then, which means winning against Leo, maybe, or killing the Leo, maybe. Nice push. My teammates can take care of the left side. I will just have to make sure that I get into a safe position here. So I'm going to get pushed onto from behind. The less armor you have, the more you have to think about where you're going to go, where you can have some teammates support you, where you can support your teammates as well. Okay, both in the city. I want to see Tank Destroyer. Uh, tank Destroyers usually are like the worst class to uh, really win games in, unless you... There are some strong Tank Destroyers as well. I played some earlier as well. Mm. There are definitely good ones. Like 
Let's show you the one that I just mentioned first. Best tank at the moment. Will probably soon get nerfed, I guess. I don't know for sure, but it's usually the way it goes. The tank is only strong for a couple of updates, but then it will get changed again. It won't stay strong forever. <laughs> at the moment, this one has a ton of armor. Great accuracy as well, good DPM and the reactive armor. So you're also having the hit points. I can just actually I can just camp here. It's like the perfect map for camping. Also a great lineup for this. Enemies have a lot of heavies. So probably they are going to come out right there. No. We stopped. Let's get back a little bit, I don't want to get spotted. Really bad position the 113 is in. But for the moment I cannot shoot him. It looks like the enemies are just already... Uh, yeah, they're adjusting... Uh, Perfect timing for me to drop, just as the TPP gets spotted. Enemies are adjusting to me shooting from this position and also my team is pushing over there. So I cannot shoot from this side anymore, I will also have to move. But it will be possible, I can just push the middle as well. Problem is, if I move out any further... Nice. And I will have some guys from over there shooting me. Nice. I think the mediums might want to shoot me here. Let's see. I guess the 60TP is going to fall back now, not really wanting to shoot me anymore. As it was just not working out for him. Oh, actually he's coming out again. Yeah, not perfect, but hey. He's a one shot, I'm a one shot to him. For my, for my platoon might. Hmm. Nice, I actually hit the E5, it seems like.
<laughs> yeah, the medium will be right behind the house there. Oh. Oh my gosh, I was so damn lucky here. Problem is, I cannot really hide. Oh. Uh, I was just trying to turn my tank and get to the side then. Guys, why don't you just kill the E5? Honestly, he's an HE one-shot. They just need to go in, shoot HE to the side of the tank or so. It will be so easy for them to kill them. Nah, not like that. Now the medium's coming. In this situation, he would just have to avoid the E5, I believe. Just turn around for the medium, just to make sure he doesn't get caught there. E100 needs to do something. Ah, that's still taking a while. It might very well be a draw because no one's really trying something. That survivability is unmatched in this class, yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of hit points, a lot of armor. You're definitely going to survive some games where you would definitely die on everything else. Mm. Okay, now my platoon might just sell in the battle. <laughs> so watching for the rest of the minutes. It's not going to win. It's not going to be a win. Although all of the enemies are one shots, even with HG for both of my teammates. Draw, yeah. No one trying anything. Uh, my platoon might had nah, a rough time here. Yeah. Got caught by the TVP. Uh, Ice four. Let's go for that one. <laughs> Thanks, Rami. Have you line up against us, yeah? I can just speed boost to the front line and see if I can maybe put out an early shot before others are even arriving, and some faster than them. Yep. Just like that. So that's a pretty good start for me already. Sadly, this tank got nerfed on the armor a lot here, so side scraping isn't that strong anymore. The one who was the strongest tank at side scraping, actually. What are the enemies even doing there? That's weird. <laughs> Let's cross over. Okay, another one. I think enemies are doing a pretty bad job here. Uh, a 
we can just shoot this guy. Would be fairly easy to push in now. Maybe I kill. Mm, yes. Also, many of the enemies were pushing back onto my platoon might. Getting into the enemy spawn. Allowing me to just go forwards here. Ah! Okay. Okay. We're all noobs. Ah! <laughs> yes! Okay. <laughs> it should still be an easy win if my teammates only move in, then. Yeah. <laughs> that was working out quite well for my tank here. <laughs> it's a premium leader. Yeah, there is a way I'm still playing Blitz. 83 games. <laughs> Let's go for this one. Have I hit the six hours? Yes. Oh, it's 4 a.m. Man, I should really quit. Yeah. Let's go for last game here. Yeah. Or last win. <laughs> And that is not healthy to keep going for that long. I might even have to eat something again before I get to sleep. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, you were 100 with a stock gun. Promising. Jetto now is a good foil spot. That's looking good. Don't know the clan though. Just don't keep bleeding at points. Nice. Almost max roll. I can just immediately pressure this guy. I know that the enemies are not really giving him any backup. And I can just out trade like that. Ah, okay. That hurts. Nope. Okay. Nice. Actually, my teammates can just go for E100 there. Where is the 268 to There he is. One shot even. Perfect. So they still have FE4 or 5 over there, who is a one shot as well. I can just go in here. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> nice. What is a good demonstration of why the IS-7 is actually that strong. <laughs> ah, 
matches. Hull down. I did not get many ricochets. Yeah, I did not have enemies bounce me too often. So actually, yeah. That's also a really strong characteristic of the i7 is that you're just bouncing off a lot of shells. I was just playing for the alpha damage, just trying to out-trade enemies, using tanks and rounds, being in the middle of the map playing hell down. Easy peasy. Okay. Oh, I cannot write. Ah, good night. Good. Guys, that's it for today. Eat are also leaving. So, everyone, thanks for watching. Six hours of stream, six hours, 20 minutes. That's been a long session for me. <laughs> Without any real breaks, 85 battles in a row. Yeah. Uh, it was actually, I mean, it was mostly pretty good. The platoon game still had something like 80%. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did so, then don't forget to hit the like button before leaving as well. And also, you really still want to check out the last video <laughs> after the stream to get your chance of, um, of a giveaway or take your place in a giveaway. Wait, that was just clear. Link the video. One second. So let's do it like that. Just put it into the chat there. Watch that video after the stream and you will still get a chance to enter the giveaway. So thanks for watching everyone. And uh, yeah. See you soon then. See ya. In the next days, although I will probably take a break tomorrow. <laughs> so, next stream should be Monday, Tuesday or so. You will know on Discord. You will get to know them. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon. Goodbye.